Fan fanfare enabled. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, everybody. Hi. I'm sure there Ooh. are immediately a ton of viewers. There are singles of people here. Oh, that's fantastic. There are at least three. Hey, I'm getting a little bit of a sound loop. Yeah, so you, you could mute the um the stream since you're playing in here. If that helps. Um, my stream is muted. Your stream is muted. Yeah, something it Oh, it's because of the um it's because it's coming through your computer, the stream that you're doing, Clint, into Discord. Oh. Is it? Okay. Also, That's wow, my voice is really quiet. I didn't huh. realize. How about that? Good thing we can set up some uh, settings, hopefully. Interesting. We'll talk amongst yourselves while you try to solve that. Oh, yes, of course, of course. I'm scared to talk amongst ourselves because then it just repeats back. That's it's true. Like I, oh, no. It's, it's hard to tell what's real and what's in the past. <laughs> hmm. Well, kind of like America right now. What? Kind yeah. of. Kind of. Hey, America full of monsters? That, right? <laughs> it is fucking, that's for sure. That is true. Well, if we could always play this without sound, if that would fix it. Hold on, hold on. So you're hearing the game sound twice? No, I hear not the game sound. We're hearing all Discord audio twice. Oh. Well, why is that happening? Kazoo <laughs> tight. Bless you. Can't wait for 15 seconds to pass and then you sneeze again. Stop right there, criminal. Oh. Fanette, what's up? Thanks for the thanks for breaking the law. I know I've broken the laws of streaming by having uh, echoes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. How do we fix this? As far as what's I know, up? the stream itself doesn't have echoes. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Yeah, maybe if I just mute if I mute the Discord and I um, put the sound on the stream, would that work? Yeah, you would just hear us a little delay. Yeah, we might not be able to talk to you, but let's find out. Oh. Yeah, I think the delay is too long for that to be a good idea. Uh, let's not do that. Welcome to the to the we work able in to progress. The stream that you're giving us in Discord. Yes, we are, uh, Angeline. Right. Oh, click great. The stream and mute it. We won't be able to hear the game audio, but other than that, okay. that should be a workaround. Oh, that's totally fine because there's not much game audio. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I did that, but I'm mm -hmm. still hearing I am it. also still hearing it. Oh, no. Oh, this has to be a Discord thing, then. I wonder if it's a bug. Bugs? Bugs? Squash hmm. him. Squash him. Well, I'm sorry about that, everyone. Let's, uh... In the meantime, in case you're wondering who, uh, who we are, it's me, Waffle, again. And then I brought some of my theater buddies to play with today. Oh. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to what to adjust. Yeah, I I'm really not sure what it's coming from. If not, if not the stream, what could it be coming from? Streamer mode. No, that's not doing it. Hmm. So Bennett, Bennett is great, by the way. He is very patient with us. Uh, Thanks, and Bennett. He's representing the Waffman emotes output device. Dragons in your own homeland. Hmm. Does that do anything? What are you going to do? Can you guys still his hear me? Not know, but he hopes his family is safe in <laughs> That fixed it. Interesting. I have no idea how that's true because my sound quality just got super bad. But I that I don't mind suffering for that. You can. Oh, well, <laughs> shoot. Oh, well, we will learn for the future. Oh no.
Let's... Okay, try this. Mute each other, but leave the... Leave the game audio on. Leave the stream audio on. Okay. But then won't we be Could... super delayed? No, no, in the Discord call. If you say you mute me and you mute Angeline... Right, and then we'll be super you're... delayed from each other. We'll have to wait 10 seconds for everything we say to hit the stream, and then we'll be able to respond. Okay, I'm going to try it right now. Okay. Okay. So many I'm people are it. watching, trying to figure this out. You yeah. did it. Because if you're hearing double audio, then one of those audios must be coming from somewhere. Okay, he... no. here's... I'm going to try something. I'm going to mute absolutely everything I have. Okay. We'll figure this out. Okay, I have now muted everything on my computer that should still be making sound, and I am still hearing the feedback loop. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this I, is a bug. I, There's no other explanation. I unmuted both of you. You unmuted us. How about... Does that do anything? I don't think so. Okay, I'm just going through my computer and muting one thing at a time. I need everything. Oh no! Oh the no! Ghost. Go 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 ghost! Hmm. Let's see what happens if I leave the stream. Yeah, not, go ahead. not the Twitch stream, but the the one that you're hosting on Discord. Yeah. Discord stream. What if you tried rejoining the call? Maybe that would fix it. Okay. Let's. Welcome to Technical Issues. The game! The game! <laughs> oh, what are we even doing? Welcome back. I'm connected again. You're connected again. Hello. Oh. Bennett, thanks for the hydrate. I will hydrate, definitely. Jonathan said, I'm not on the call at all, and I'm still hearing you. What? I'm in your house. It's How is this? A... Bonnet, are you hearing any double audio on the stream? I'm concerned. Wonder if we're hearing the game audio, too. Maybe that did it? Seems fine for you, Bennett. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, it's a good thing this song is so good. Hello. Hey Hello. This is strange. Oh, shit, it was a bug. I it had was? to force Discord. And oh, now it's fuck. okay. I'll do the same thing. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, then, Angeline, we'll be right back. Angeline, if you, Angeline, if you uh, hit the X, it'll just minimize it. So you have to go to Task Manager and completely stop Discord. Gotcha. Doing that now. Shout out to Task Manager. Thanks, Task Manager. <laughs> Discord is also perfect software, and I love every aspect of it with no, um, I, yeah. don't, I can't think of the word that comes next, but you get with, it. Yes, with no caveat. reprehensions, no caveat. No caveat. Huh, well, that, that seems to have worked for you then, Jonathan. Yeah, completely. I am 100% on board. Neat. Neat, because I wasn't sure what to do next. <laughs> cool. Welcome to... This is your first Monster Prom, isn't it? No. I own it. Oh, you own it. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Hey. Hello, I don't play it often. I mean, I, I probably haven't played it in like two years. Hmm. Gotcha. We'll go through all that capture shit. Oh no! No, it didn't. It didn't. We're good. I'm not a robot. Oh, okay, okay, Ooh. okay, okay. Okay. Oh. You guys, I think we're ready to go. You think so? A weird fucking bug. Fixed it. Weird bugs. I was about to apologize for uh, saying the f word, but then I remembered what game we're playing, oh. and we <laughs> that's true. Deal with it. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry. 
sweet little 10 year olds watching the channel. We got some ah! <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. You know what's funny? I try to. My personal challenge for all of this is I don't curse on my own. I will repeat the words of others as dirty as they are, but you'll never hear it from <laughs> me directly. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah, Clint, that's a, a feat. So, in the words of Angeline Miranda, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom, everyone. Uh, this is Angeline's first run of this. Jonathan is a fan. I'm a fan as well. We're playing the OG Monster Prom, not Monster Camp. I think I've only played like a total of maybe three or four hours of this game, though. Yeah. Well, what? What a three or four hours oh, they no. were. You guys, the lag is back. The lag no. is back. The loop, it's looping again for me. Oh. Is it a matter of changing my the quality? Let's see. I, I think it's I think it's purely just a bug though. And Angeline, you're sure that your Twitch window is muted? Yeah, it's the little uh, volume oh. in the left bottom left corner of Clint's stream is is off. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's probably still just the Discord bug. Oh, that's hmm. so weird. I've never experienced anything like this. How unbearable is it, friend? It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yikes. Huh. Is it back for you too, Jonathan? No, actually. It's still fine for me. What the hell? Maybe just rinse and repeat and hope for the best? Yeah, because we only saw you hop off the call for a moment. We weren't sure if you deleted or if you exited completely. Okay, I'll try one, I'll try one more time. Okay. Oh, Maybe. dang. Okay. I don't believe that she's really gone. I still see I mean, her little... She's, yeah, she, she, she's on the call, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good guitar riff. I actually probably shouldn't sing along. I'm not sure if I'm getting the audio delayed or not. It's probably going to be very distracting if I'm... Ooh, mm -hmm. uh, Angeline, I don't think, I don't think yeah. what we wanted to happen happened because you, you literally were offline on our screen for a fraction of a second. I, I, would, I like exited the task manager, or I like task manager forced to quit, and huh. I left it like that for a few seconds. Jesus and Christ, <laughs> Discord, what the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you? We love you, Discord. The, the loop is gone. Okay. Okay. Let's hope well, for the hope best. To God, it stays that way. Oof. But we, me? we know a quick fix then. Um, Angeline the robot just has to get her batteries checked every <laughs> couple of minutes at worst. Right, yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's try to use some some pure uh what's that what's the the chemical that makes you happy that is uh, there are a couple. What do you have in mind? Uh, like the one of the four, you know, like the 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 scientific one what it's like <laughs> oh i can't remember what it's called but there's like four chemicals that affect your mood oh serotonin and yes that let's yeah. let's get they're some serotonin they're, they're both and... part of, they're both the main four. Oh, i'm about to cortisol is the stress one yeah. Yeah. dopamine is the one that like makes you kind of have a rush and a high and serotonin mm. is the one that just makes you okay with things. okay well then, let's. I'm gonna about to claim one of these cutie monsters as dopamine because we're gonna play Thank Monster you. Pro. <laughs> God, were you literally just trying to set that up, Clint? <laughs> oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's gotcha. get this show on the road. All right, I dragged three of you into this, didn't I? You did. Wait, us and you. So it's yes. Me. Yeah. Are you talking to yourself? Hold on, I have to check on myself. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> We're doing the full snake, not a short snake. Full snake. Okay. Um, monster prom. Um, we're going to date some monsters. It's a competitive dating simulator. Oh, I forgot it's competitive. It's competitive. Yeah, I want everyone to know that I have mad game. So we'll show you, you do. You do. They, they, they <laughs> the both weird, do, officially. The you wrote a... Kind of. Kind, no, you, I mean, like, yeah. there's a podcast about it. Humble brag, humble brag. 
The weird quirk about this okay. game is you actually don't want to be true to yourself. You want to be true to what your stats suggest you are. So, like, if you have if you ha have high intellect, you should be choosing the smart-sounding answers, even if you yourself don't understand them. Mm. Oh, okay, so maybe I won't be very good at this. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's very luck-based, honestly. Like, it's intuition-based, but it's luck-based. Yeah. Okay. Just follow your monster heart. Your monster heart. Gotcha. Oh, who do we want to be? You, that isn't you. Do any of us feel like being a narrator today? I will narrate the shit out of whatever you want, Daddy. Take it away, Baruch. <laughs> I. Ah, spooky hot. No, that cannot be his voice. <laughs> Yep, commit, commit. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. It's a very Soul Eater Grim Reaper voice, I love it. <laughs> sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. I a pure radio announcer. <laughs> you, you chose it. <laughs> we can't question it now that he committed. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Ooh, who, play are who are you? Who player, are you? Player one. Um, just because, Angeline, you haven't played this yet, we won't make you player one. Okay. Um, Jonathan, do you have a choice of character as long as it's not Vicky? Because she's mine. Oh, Vicky's the best. Unless um, you want Vicky. No, I'll, I'll be I'll be green boy. I don't think I've ever been a green boy before. Okay, all right. What do you want Green's name to be? Boy. Green or Brian? That's green your... boy. <laughs> green boy. Okay, like so. That is perfect. Better than I imagined it. Green boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I want him to have a name, not a handle. Green boy. That yeah. that's great. Great. We'll go with it. And your pronouns of choice. He is perfect. Great. And that's how he sounds. Yeah, that was a that was a very <laughs> hearty hello. Player two, uh, I will take. Uh, Angeline, you're pretty set on your your choice still from before. Yeah, I think so. Okay, then I choose blue, Vicky. I don't want to call her Vicky. I want to call her. Icky Vicky is so, so icky. Just the thought of being around you makes me oh so sicky. For Stephanie. For Stephanie. I like it. She's a she. Sweet. Sweet. The Angeline, bring it home. Was it? Give me fire hair. Fire hair. And that's her name. Her name? <laughs> her name is? Fire hair? Yeah. It's, it's like Nordic. <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your name. Great, I understand. Oh, and got a, it, got it, got it. And a pronoun? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be a she. Okay. And you these are she today. These are the three of us. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Only six. Only six. Everyone else is shit. <laughs> Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <laughs> Look at those elbows, though. What? Oh, my goodness. I thought you meant her left arm for a second, and I'm like, Clint, um, <laughs> I want what I can't have, okay? The elbow that's <laughs> off screen. <laughs> a Victorian era. <laughs> Damien LaVey, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Okay, you're seeing your choices laid out before you now. Start making your picks. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete 
who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Stupidly large. Stupidly. Look at the size of that stupid thing. <laughs> Liam de Lioncourt. He's old. A hipster <laughs> vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. <laughs> Polly oh. Geist. 22. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. She is trouble. And yeah, I, pick, I, I pick her every time. I remember I ended up with her on her route and uh, it did not go well. I did not get <laughs> with her. Oof. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear. It had to be one of them, unless it's any of the side yeah. characters. <laughs> but ooh. So it doesn't have to be one of them. You can literally almost date anyone. But anyone with a face. Anyone with a face. Not me, but the other narrator. <laughs> <laughs> we only have three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only have three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. realized the book he was reading, uh, that oh, Liam yeah. is reading, is The Life and Death of the Man Bun. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. It's a different, it's the magazine talking now. Obviously, yes. And this is a very brief magazine, so I'll allow it. Oh, mine's are Oh, wait. I'm... <laughs> the font change is confusing me. Okay, fine. We'll, we're going radio announcer all the way. Oh, mine's are rotten, <laughs> but they are rotten in so many different ways. That's like part of the trademark of the name of the magazine is you have to read it like that when you're talking about it. Gotcha. Right, yeah. Yeah. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Just what we've always wanted. I just want to know what I am. <laughs> Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, Trademark, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Boy. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. So this can be as true as you want, and we'll go from there. Okay. Let's start. <laughs> so oh, which... I'm not Yes, you are. Which is the Let's coolest see. mythological creature? This weird creature I drew when I was six, and, was, and which is clearly super derivative from other mythological creatures, but it's super cool, and it's my OC and my spirit animal, okay? Uh, a sphinx who's super, who's super turned up and ready to... Oh, I see, that's the portrait of, of our guy. Yep. Um, and she wraps all her riddles. She still kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles, um, the invisible hand of God. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> um, let's go with the rap and sphinx. Okay. Gotta love some riddles. I. I would probably choose my original OC. Do not steal, please. I think I gotta go with the sphinx too. Sphinx. I, just, I love. I love a femme fatale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. So creative. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? <laughs> Probably rabies? <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to go with the last one. That's a lot of power. Okay, the incredible power of writing fan fiction. So compelling. The actual creators of the TV show decided to go with your ideas and crazy ships. Because I've, I've never finished one, but I actually have tried to novelize some oh. video games where I was like, this story is really good, but you did it shit. Let me do it for you. <laughs> Let me do and it I better. Hi, Zanafia. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to our first collab stream. How are you? Uh, I'm just trying to decide. 
what power I want. Um, rabies makes me basically a vampire, so I'd go with rabies. I want that emoji game. You're on that emoji game. Ooh, I like that we're all different. Ooh, for this one. So smart. <laughs> what would be a killer accessory? Literally, or... Up to interpretation! Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> a necklace with your own name, in case you forget. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the sunglasses at night, because fuck society and its rules. Yeah. Uh, ooh. I do not want high school arch enemy skin. No thank you. Um, I would I'm go just with... not a purse kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. The skin I, I don't take issue with. <laughs> oh, I only take issue with the skin. Uh, I'm all about those fancy brass knuckles. Um... They have floor de -lis on them or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the purse. Oh, oh. A fabulous purse made from fabulous yeah. skin? Or does the shape of the purse make the skin fabulous? It just tells people that they better not fuck with me. Mm, true. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait, did I choose... Oh, no. Did I choose, Polly, choose Polly's again? I did. Oh, no. I don't want to have my heart broken by a nymphomaniac again. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's, she's so oh, good, but turn. so... No yes, it's your turn. And I'll leave it here while you decide so we can see yes, all of please. the information. Thank you. Are any of these monsters emotionally well-adjusted? No. Uh, Follow-up question. Can you be emotionally well-adjusted in high school? Oh, good question. Follow-up, follow-up question. Can I choose to stay single and protect my own mental health? Stop right there! <laughs> Apparently not. Breaks the law in my <laughs> Vanette, good timing. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, I was gonna say sure, if go in with whatever plan you want, makes you happy, but that's against the law of Monster Prom. So no. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So it, it looks like I'm not excellent in anything. My highest score is a seven. Um. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a fun run. We're gonna go fun. So fun. What's fun? Is that outdoors? Outdoors. That looks like it. Yeah. All right. Green boys going outdoors. Outdoors. My favorite class. <laughs> I I'm not gonna do the radio announcer voice for ninety percent of the text in this game. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Uh, Why don't you take this one? Okay. Uh, that day during recess, you... Hold on. It is going to be the radio announcer. We'll just take turns <laughs> as the yeah, radio right. announcer. Okay, that day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. <laughs> you have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. During school hours? Yeah. Dude, outdoors is the best class. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. That's a good point. You gain two fun. I've got so much fun. And who's our first? Oh, the actual narrator. Hmm. Okay. Scott and Polly pull you aside. <laughs> Scott and Polly pull you aside, one of them holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. All right, so I think we're going to meet Scott and Polly. Um, out of the two, got to go with Scott. Out of the two, okay. Uh, Angeline, whoever shows up first, why don't we have you read? <laughs> Ooh, is it going to be the man or the woman? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, what am I looking at? <laughs> wow. Loving this. I think I know it. Uh-huh. We need your help, bro. Clearly. Polly is best ghosty. Oh, is this one... Is this one me? The midterm for... Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, we got it. Oh, no, we can't, we no, can't no. just... 
We can't just fight for Polly's heart, can we, Jonathan? We have to fight for her voice and her mannerism, too. That's correct. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, no, actually, that's perfect. Since you're going to go for Polly, it makes sense that you have no control over how she behaves. Uh, Let's just make it as hard for you as possible. Yep, yep, okay. The midterm for AP Jump Scares is coming up tomorrow, and we're so unprepared. Try everything we could think of to get ready. <laughs> I rolled up the textbook and smoked it. <laughs> and I ate my homework. He, he, look at his face. He sees forever. <laughs> Cake play. Thank you for the raid. Hey, Cake, Cake play. play. Hi, everyone. Hi, we're playing Cake play. Cause Cake play's favorite game, Monster Prom. Oh, Hello, everyone. They yeah, they kickstarted it. Waffle oh, no, Linguane! No. Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome to my first collab stream! I'm playing with friends! Oh! oh friends. And wagons! Friends make everything better! Does not know, but he hopes <laughs> his family is oh, hi everyone! We don't know what we're looking at right now, but we're sure enjoying it! If that's the word. We're enjoying it! But nothing worked. We've only got one option left. We gotta cheat, bro. We just need to figure out how to do it without messing with the teacher. Mm -hmm. Or with messing the teacher. With the teacher. <laughs> Either way, if you can help us, we'd be super grateful. That's all the incentive you need! You hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique! Just take the test like normal, then use this time machine to go back and change your answers. <laughs> Write all the answers on the teacher's face. He'll never see them there. Uh, the first is obviously superior. Yes, yes. Cake Play, they kickstarted, kickstarted Monster Prom 2, Monster Camp, but they do still love oh, Monster cool. Prom. Yeah, so they're finally seeing the fruits of their Kickstarter dollars. I told you we would have a time machine. <laughs> Scott knows me so well. He knows me so well. Polly reluctantly hands Scott five dollars. Damn, Scott. You're really good at guessing when people have time machines. <laughs> I guess you've just got an incredible sense of timing. I love her. <laughs> now, come on. Let's grab this time machine and go screw up causality. Jonathan is here. Yes. Look at the friends. Friends in the chat. Here's who we have here. Woohoo. Ta-da. It's Jonathan and Angeline. And they're on Twitch now. You were going to use that time machine to kill monster Hitler, but this seems about as important. You gained two boldness and one fun. Could always use more boldness in my life. And less Hitlers. What? P probably. Yeah, I, I mean, suppose. I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm feeling like I should embrace either my smarts or my creativity. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with my creativity. Auditorium. Uh, I, Popcorn Angeline is radio voice announcer. Popcorn. <laughs> now today, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Jesus. <laughs> Your performance is intense and inspiring. I don't know what that means in this context. For generations, <laughs> which is pretty rad by high school plays standards. <laughs> yeah, that is. You gain... Ooh, you nice. Go. And is this? I think so. I think that's what that that's the canon we've we've oh, are, are we decided. The two? Yes, we are all always the narrator. You notice Liam and Damien talking to each other. Maybe you're a little jealous, so you decide to join them. Okay, so whoever comes up first. I wish I could see it. <laughs> We'll take your word for it. Uh, but you'd have to do another CAPTCHA to prove it. You would. <sighs> I know, right? 
can't tell if Liam's in costume or if he's just like that today. That's what are you talking about? That's Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Yes, yes! <laughs> the entire concept of slaying is barbaric, racially motivated, and deeply rooted in an abhorrent colonial mindset. And their outfits, black on red, it's like bad cosplay as a fashion statement. Uh, I think this is Angeline. Is it me? Oh, shit. Which one is he? Uh, he's uh, new. He's new. He's a yeah. bad boy. She's Choices. the guy that smokes after class. Like, Polly is too, but he's, like, badass about it. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. I'm Hey, I like the killers. <laughs> there was a time when I would have hotly debated the genre classification of the killers with you, but they're popular now and so are obviously garbage. Hey, and the I same, like the, <laughs> the same goes for slayers, Jonathan Baruch. Someone really <laughs> ought to put an end to this archaic practice. We've tried that, Damien. We've been trying that for literally centuries. <laughs> no, what we need is a new initiative. Something fresh, something modern, something like... Liam seems to be drawing the blank. Sure enough, <laughs> the idea is simple, yet effective. Murder <laughs> all the slayers! <laughs> Massive PR campaign letting people know that every cool person in history was either a vampire... Or a demon. Right oh! <laughs> we keep breaking the law! Oh, oh, looks like, uh... Oh, so... Everyone's in a Halloween costume because it's early November. Even when they're not at the, the auditorium, they're all wearing costumes of other people. That's... Oh, that's, that's not confusing good. for a first playthrough at all. Okay, okay. Uh, but right now they are supposed to be wearing costumes because it's drama class. Gotcha. Oh, thanks, uh, Netflix. Yeah, I'm definitely reading chat in real time as a professional. <laughs> You're seen. You feel seen. Um, I'm going with the PR campaign. So creative. You had me at massive PR campaign. Then you lost me at cool person, but then you got me back with history. Oh, I can't wait to educate the ignorant public. For example. Did you know that Caligula and Jack the Ripper? We're the same vampire. Yeah, everybody knows that. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. A Room of One's Own was originally titled A Doom of One's Own. Ooh. Oh, we've got so much research to do. Come on, Damien, let's go to the library. <laughs> he doomed Baby into his own personal hell, but Liam's on cloud nine. He gained plus smart and... and one child. Let's do this. All right, Lexi, Sorry. thank you for the shout out. Always, always a good chance to shout out cake play. Seasonal costumes in this game looks like. Yay! Okay. All right. She can. Is that what she wants to do? Yeah, that's what I would do. All right. Can we not make the same decisions as people earlier in the turn order? What do you mean? Like, were you not allowed to go outside, and was Angeline not allowed to go oh. outside or the auditorium? That's correct. Once someone's in a, in a oh, spot, they can't. No one else can go there. I didn't know it was a worker placement game. It is! Everything's a worker placement game! Everything's a worker placement game. Candyland is a worker placement game. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I think this is the OG narrator now. Back to Jonathan. Oh. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs managing your start kicker. Don't sue <laughs> us, please. 
You deceived lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain plus <laughs> 100,000 money. But almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only two money. Oh. I have the game is called Boomth. Or Boom. Oh, it's not Boomth. It's yeah. Boomt. Boomt. Oh, Boomtum. Boomtum, Boomtum. Yeah. Cake play, flashbacks to the bench of loneliness. That's how I lost the last game we played because I couldn't go anywhere because oh, wow. they filled up everywhere. <gasps> you spot Vera and Polly discussing something. You've got to get in on this conversation. It's bound to be something nasty. Angeline gets Vera and Polly. Oh. I'm Polly. That's true. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> I mean, she gets the chance to talk with both of them. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got gotcha. it. Gotcha. Um, do you want me to take Vera? Because otherwise, I think you would be having a three way convo with yourself. Yeah. Okay, okay. What? what? Are you going to that party tonight at Dale, in the, at, at, at Dale the Mummy's Crypt? The dog star has aligned with Venus or something. So his parents are beings of pure energy for the weekend. He's got the place entirely to himself. I might stop by. Yay! Yay. <laughs> okay, so listen. Scott's going to be there too. And I totally want to spike his drink. Not bad. Now I'm interested. What are you thinking? Laxatives or Viagra? You stay away from my stupid bear. A uh, gross. I was thinking something fun, like shrooms. Shrooms won't even dissolve in his drink, you idiot. You there, back me up on this. What do you think we should put in his drink? Yeah, make it something fun, like, like shrooms. Hmm. <laughs> Cake play, Polly. Hi, Polly is so Ooh. cute in this outfit. Man, let's let's do the midsummer flower. Is that this one? Yeah, number two. Number two. Okay. Oh, you mean love and idleness, the one the fairies use on each other whenever they're having an argument. I can't think of anything more perfect. I'll have my man in the Fey Realm send over a case of it. But the next day... <laughs> you couldn't have given some me some kind of signal? Anything? Dude, I didn't know you were going to be coming down the stairs right when Scott <laughs> opened his eyes. And I definitely didn't know that he would fall in love with just your leg. <laughs> I mean, I've had my leg humped before, but to completely ignore me while he was doing it? Oh, come on. It was exhilarating in a way. <laughs> I know! Rude! Well, it's not really his fault. He's just a big dumb werewolf, after all. Yeah, so lay the fuck off. <laughs> the real blame lies with this idiot. The idiot is you, idiot! <laughs> you lose two smarts and one charm! Oh my god, wait, can you die if you lose points? Nah. You can just well, be lonely at one prom night. Oh, that's fine. It's kind of your goal anyway. <laughs> 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 you did get hearts from Vera, though, oh. just now. So who knows? Let's trade places! Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Yeah, we're using a Discord overlay. Yeah, you like it? Cake play, thank you. Um, occupation. Um... This is for all of us. Okay, so we topiary all expert. A topiary expert? Okay. Mm -hmm. I choose... Um, a SeaWorld Dolphin Trainer. Alright. We have our choices. Player order is decided based on how weird it would be to see a slutty costume based on the selected occupation. <laughs> Start debating now. <laughs> Okay, but imagine somebody just wearing a costume that's just small topiaries pasted to the important parts. Okay, but you're supposed to be totally uh, 
phone when you're blowing glass. So yes, but the thing is, you're blowing glass. <laughs> that fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring a transparent dildo, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, welcome. This is a... Uh... Sorry to all the 10-year-olds. Anyone here? <laughs> Dude, this is Monster Prom. You this have is to Monster Prom. Like you have to. Okay, so... I definitely acknowledge that Dolphin Trainer, although sleek and sensual, is third. So yeah, I think Jonathan's is first. Okay. Hell yeah. You're twelve, and what is this cake play? Collectively, you're twelve. That makes sense. There's two. They are a double, couple stream. Yes, and their ages combined is definitely twelve. Definitely twelve. Uh, so Jonathan first, and then the glass blower, and then. Dolphin. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. Um, sure. Um, uh, sure. So now we're choosing where to sit at lunch. I like that androgynous pop star in the bottom right corner. Okay. You want to go here? Yeah. All right. That's Who... the table for me. Okay. Who's next to read? Is this uh? Um. This is you as narrator. Oh. Okay. You're about to take a bite of your sandwich, but some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. Again. <laughs> uh, should I do this? Go for it. Go for it. It is I, the interdimensional prince. <laughs> I've searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me. The riddle of the rapping sphinx? <laughs> Been there. How to get my TV to switch from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension, where you solve his problem by using the remote control. <laughs> You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Is it a sex thing? I hope it's a sex thing. Perhaps laser communion might interest you. I mean, it's, or it's not. Or baptism? Or eggs? All of those are not not sex things. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there. <laughs> The choice is yours. Stop right there, criminal <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is all against the law. Bennett, thank you. <laughs> what about this is against the law? I don't know, but I keep okay. having to stop right there because I'm criminal scum. Okay. Um, let's make our own ritual. And okay. it's definitely yeah. a sex thing. Be adventurous. Ah. <laughs> oh. We have a ritual for this. The ritual of making up rituals. <laughs> it's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. <laughs> First, we get incredibly high on interdimensional weed. Then we pretty much do whatever we want, and then make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. <laughs> Sounds good to you! You guys get ripped! And invent a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. I regret nothing. It's Christmas, but everybody just gets stockings full of shrimp. Delivered by a giant shrimp. Every house smells bad. <laughs> God. That was the original Lego movie theme song. Every house <laughs> smells bad. <laughs> it becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension. Where it replaces actual Christmas. That's you gain plus four creativity. But at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Here comes Shrimp Claus. Here comes Shrimp Claus. <laughs> okay. M me? Mm hmm. Um, it looks like there's a My Little Pony in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go sit there. Okay. Gotcha. It's a cat. It's a cat. Uh, um, shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. She's cute. I like her. Uh, this is the shopkeeper, so you can buy a thing now. Oh. 
Oh, you have seven cash. You have so many money after you did the start kicker. Yeah. So and then he lost all. What is my option? All of these. Motivational posters. <laughs> Happy little accidents. Oh, Greek. No, that's Russian. <laughs> oh. Dragon heat. <laughs> no. With two holes. no Ku Klux Klan. Oh, True. <laughs> that's um. An interpretation. D date her. Date her. Yeah, uh, Angeline. I mean, she doesn't look like she's going to prom with anyone. Can I date her? Maybe. It is possible, it is but possible. I remember it's very specific in how you unlock it. Uh, want me to keep going through the options for you? <laughs> <laughs> Impractical yet kind of funny. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Ah. That's really cheap. And what does the events one mean? I think uh, that means it's going to prompt a future like cutscene oh, for you to interact with. Give me that bad boy dragon erotica. <laughs> oh, Dragon Heat, the classic. It's so cheesy yeah, and stupid. One. That you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into dragon abs. Give it to me, baby. Okay. Beep. You know Beep. what? <laughs> All profits are made are donated to a good cause. Spoiler alert, the good cause is buying me a new phone. Sweet. You're welcome. I tried my best Skyrim cat that. accent. <laughs> oh, oh, she's it's... supposed to be a Kaji? Yeah, <laughs> this one likes money. Huh. You know, every time I play this, I try to go for Polly, and I end up go being with, uh, with, uh, not Damien. What's this guy's name? Liam. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should I just try, try to reverse it? Should I just try and fail? <laughs> Should I try and reverse it? Yes. Go for Liam so hard, <laughs> you end up with Polly. Kajit has wares if you has coin. I think it's Angeline's turn yeah, on narrator. Yay! You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and a chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. If you, if someone in chat says, if you mess up once, though, you get yeeted from the route. Okay. <laughs> oh, cake play, thanks. Uh, that's good to know. You can't. Very specific route for the cat girl. You can't eat that. Lost me. First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. Well, if it's really small, that's not an issue. <laughs> so, it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of this balanced breakfast. Hey, hey! Shout out to the breakfast club! Boop, 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 boop. Hello! That's, I guess, what I call all my followers, the breakfast club. <laughs> it's lunch. Yikes. Shut it's down. Ragged. In your own homeland. <laughs> oh, it? here come the dragons for dragon he heat. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Well, I'm nervous that that's not going to happen. <laughs> Looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute <laughs> and score some romantic cred at the same time. Damien, don't eat it. You won't have room for all these baby seals I brought you. Oh. Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. I feel like both of those really cater hard to Damien. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know which one I'm better at. With my smarts. Uh, probably smarts for Liam's right, Damien. Maybe? I feel like one of them is creativity, maybe, but I don't know which. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Liam's right. Okay. Maybe that's no, smart? No, that, that's oh. bullying him. I'm, I'm gonna go for the baby seals. Alright. Jesus. Yes. Ange? Oh, sorry. Okay. Baby seals? Give them to me. I can already taste the cruelty. 
For Stephanie, you scoundrel. How could you substitute wanton irresponsibility for animal cruelty? You quietly explained to Liam that the baby seals you're feeding to Damien aren't really baby seals. <laughs> These are just seal-shaped beanie babies stuffed with tofu and pig's blood. Honestly, way more effort than baby seals. <laughs> For real. Good thing you always keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case of killer whale attack. Yes, I okay. do. I applaud your craftiness and high regard for animal life. Let's go return Aww. this phylactery to Larry's crypt. Together. Didn't expect a vampire to be an animal lover. Ooh. It ends up being the third most romantic night you've ever spent in a crypt. Score! <laughs> Score! Sitting with side characters always gets us random stats of some sort. Good to know. Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I choose a bar of Toblerone. For reasons. I choose the scoop where you use in the cat sweater box. I choose a wooden block in the shape of a cube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how disturbing it would be if an insane person decided <laughs> to state and marry the selected object. Definitely the scooper. Definitely the scoop of litter. <laughs> <laughs> I could... S Go ahead. What were, what were the other two choices? A bar of Toblerone. Uh -huh. Here's the thing, I think Toblerone is more interesting, but I also think it's more understandable than just wooden block. Oh, I disagree, because, like, the, the Toblerone would go bad at some point. A block is forever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think block is a little bit more disturbing. Really? Okay. Yeah, because chocolate yeah. is delicious, so I, like, I at least kind of understand. Okay. Tiebreaker for me. <laughs> evening chat says scooper no contest so we're all yeah. thinking correctly and look you have your dragon heat book with you at all times oh wait does that if i go back to the library do you think it'll activate it i don't know i don't know enough about but how the game works it's so complicated wait, that, that's how... the, wait okay if i go to the bathroom does that mean i have to buy something because that's where the cat is or can i, I think so Mm-hmm. I mean, you wouldn't have to, so but both that are, would be the yeah. only thing you can do. Both are correct. The cat is in the bathrooms, and you have first choice to go anywhere. Okay, what's my highest stat? I can't really read it right now. Mm -hmm. the highest stat is charm. It's a six. Let's go to the auditorium. <clears throat> um, I don't think that's charm. That's creativity, just so you're aware. Oh. I think charm is the gym. It's that little cute pink face. Okay, then let's go to the gym. Okay. And we didn't guide you toward that decision at all. <laughs> Hello, Adolfo. Hello, how are you? Playing games with friends. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Hell yeah. Wait, no, it's my turn. Everything seems lost because <laughs> you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Uh-huh. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You intimidated them with that s floating skull and crossbones <laughs> next to your ear. My conscience. <laughs> you gain plus two charm. Oddly enough, you notice Damien and Vera having some kind of business meeting. Oh boy. At least they're both sitting holding manila folders. You move closer to see what's up. Without Damien, it seems we both agree that Gwilliam, the Incubus, is a piece of sentient garbage who deserves harm. I believe that, together, we could make Gwilliam very unhappy. I've prepared an action plan for a potential merger. Have a look. <laughs> Gesundheit. Opens her folder. Narrator swipe. Narrator swipe. 
Poison coefficient and maximizing dividends. <laughs> Damien opens his folder. There's a piece of paper that says punching on it. I admire your simplistic approach, but I think we need a plan that utilizes both our strengths. Damien nods and turns over his piece of paper. <laughs> he decides punching hard. Punching hard. <laughs> These two are never going to come to an agreement unless you step in and mediate. So you tell them your idea. Use this convenient list I bought that shows all his greatest fears in order of severity or while he's sleeping, replace all his organs with living possum. Wowie. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. You know, um, he wouldn't really wake up to like see oh my god i've been pranked like he would just be dead <laughs> right. Right. and then we'd have possums and they're just as dateable okay i feel like apparently there's a cute reference to dragon heat in uh the sequel monster camp where you can like oh. whittle a little dragon uh fabio oh i see that now that's so cute <laughs> um dragons in your own homeland. I like how Vera's hip this one does not know what the rest of her body is. I'm going to put them over here. They're in timeout. Um I feel like the first one is more smart and the second one is more bold. I'm not very good at either of them. But mm -hmm. we'll go with smart. We'll go to the first one. Okay. How much did you pay for this list? Oh no. Why is that money? It says you bought. Oh no. That's oh. fine. It's okay. I'll just be. I'll have a, a normal high school experience instead of dating an emotional abuser. Oh no. Uh, but she has so many little sn little snacks. Little snacks. I thought it said brought, not bought. Oh. Uh, I only ask because it seems to be a grocery list. Either that, or Quilliam just happens to be terrified of eggs, butter, popsicles, and milk. He has a hard time in stores. <laughs> and why are there so many exclamation points after cucumbers and Vaseline? Okay, never mind. It's definitely a shopping list. Is this okay. your grocery <laughs> list? <laughs> you got more hearts from her still. <laughs> That's not your grocery list. Vera publishes it in the school newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> and you lose two charm and one fun. <laughs> what are you talking um, about? That would be a a positive charm and fun in my book. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to the auditorium. Okay. Get creative. Oh, what a cutie. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you. Was that Green Girl? Green Girl. You tell everyone to call you by it. Also known as one of the seven most douchebaggiest moves in the world. True. But the nickname is so awesome, inventive, and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Maybe not Green Girl. Quite the feat! You gain two creativity. We, the and devs, even the oh, dare you oh, to oh, actually oh. come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other players to call you by that name until the end of this run. Gatrolophus. One more time? Nope. <laughs> if you were my real friend, you would remember. Angeline, what do you. Gatrolophus, yes. Good one. Oh. Good one. Good on you. Gatrolophus. Gatrolophus. Alright, shout out. I have shout to come out. up with a mnemonic or I'm gonna forget it. <laughs> Lexi, can I get a shout out to Gatrolophus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go follow Gatrolophus for the rest of this run. It's like G and then Trowel and then Sisyphus, but only the last half. Gatrolophus. Gatrolophus. You've already. <laughs> Bennett says you like broken the law 
We can't even That's do fair. the command anymore. It's just the law is now broken. <laughs> Green is not a creative color. <laughs> Against the expected, you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what seems to be an intense conversation. They seem so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them, well, What's going on? Going on. We're discussing the recent novel, Two Lights. <laughs> it isn't a novel. It's a bad movie with lots of cool dudes with amazing abs. He has a bird in his belly button. He does. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> a bird a button. It's definitely coming from what you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually based on a novel. And it's anything but rad. It's cultural trash. Of course. But I decided to like it ironically. That's disgusting. <laughs> Thing is, there's this demon girl with two guys who like her. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. What are they talking about? But the guys are part of two enemy human races. <laughs> the wild shirtless humans and the mysterious deep look given humans. Wow, this actually sounds kind of compelling. I wonder if they could make a real series out of this. Yeah, I wonder if the child stars from that could grow up to actual success and leave it all behind them. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a child star when he played Edward. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems these types of humans can't stand each other. Oh, and the deep look given humans hide in the sunlight. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, audience, if you didn't pick up on what we're doing here. <laughs> Did you know that's actually a lesser-known trait of some humans? It's a subclass of albinoism. <laughs> the next movie will be released soon, and oh, we're super hyped. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> we count. Dude. We are hunger for two lives. Was this me? Oh shoot. This is yeah. your opportunity to show these two. You're well versed when it comes to satiating urges. Mm. Okay. Go for it. Um I mean <laughs> option two just so perfectly fits with the backstory I chose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's my superpower. It is your yep. superpower. Yep, I'm gonna write a play that's better than the movie. Oh, I see it. A nuanced pastiche involving the characters of two lights. Throwing a new light over their fears and desires. <laughs> better <laughs> love story. <laughs> <Abs. laughs> it's a better love story than one light, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Good one, Bennett! Yeah, yeah, sure. With an unexpected twist that will elevate the strengths of the original Irv. Something subtle, yet powerful. Look at his dumbass face. I was gonna comment on the use <laughs> of pastiche in casual conversation, but then he brought up Irv. Uh, uh. <laughs> Something like the rival humans ditching the girl and fucking their each other's brains out. Yeah, totally not a fanfic. Yeah, I like that. It's artistic because of reasons. And if they're new, <laughs> that means more muscles and stuff. I like that. I can't tell if Scott is asexual or just really innocent. <laughs> oh. Sure. It sounds a lot like a high form of art and nothing like thirsty fanfic. You're some kind of promoter of the arts. You gain two Yowty. creativity and one smart. Indubitably. Yowie fanboy over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angeline, was, okay. was it I who sent you an email explaining Yowie? Yes. Oh, boy. And now that's yeah. public information. <laughs> Monsters only know love, no sex. Ooh, yep. <laughs> That's right. What's well, interesting to me is that 
um, for me, Yaoi was actually filtered out, which means that there are enough degenerate weeds on Twitch that they had to add Yaoi to the filter list. Oh, really? Dang. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, it made it through. Uh, Cake Play. Okay, I can't type waifu on Cake Play's channel, but they can type Yaoi on mine. What's up with that? What? Yeah, I, I get banned whenever I type waifu. Waifu's not even... I know! There's nothing wrong with the word waifu. <laughs> <laughs> it's a holiest uwu matrimony. <laughs> waifu. Banned! Banned! Ban them! They're all saying waifu now. Um, okay, let's go... Uh, I'm going to go to the library, because I'm smart. You spend some time on the library's PCs mining some bitcoins. <laughs> Dramatization. No, I think that's what it looks like. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is supposed to have something to do with solving <laughs> algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. Sure. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which oh. is equal to plus Two million dollars. Oh. Which, unfortunately, is equal to <laughs> two monster dollars. So, plus two money. All right, econ majors, keep up with that exchange rate, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, that's a very simple exchange rate. Okay, okay. Scott strolls by, happily munching on something. Liam gapes at him, appalled. Oh, these two again. <laughs> oh, the costumes! <laughs> So wow, good. that I do not like Liam, but I like this Liam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, oh, what on earth are you eating, Scott? <laughs> Delicious new flavor of Bengals potato chips. Maximum ultimate double BBQ massacre. <laughs> really? Because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside a cardboard tube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Tater chips. <laughs> tasty. Tasty. Does wanton environmental destruction sound tasty to you? Who's asking? Uh, I don't know. Is that kind of jerky? Oh. Cake play. I figured. Yeah, I figured out who Scott is dressed as currently. I don't know who Liam's costume is right now. Wait, who is Scott dressed as? Uh, he's another character that you haven't met yet. Oh, okay, okay. No, Scott. Do you, do you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, Fengals and co. decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? But, uh, what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Nothing! It's a horrendously wasteful practice. Oh, no! Are these poor headless goat bodies running around in bumpy <laughs> Stop them. Uh, wait. I love him. <laughs> really? I was just trying to make you feel guilty. I, I didn't actually have a plan of action. But if someone were to suggest one... Too real. That's how the Liams of the world really are. <laughs> True. Fair. Write an extremely mean blog post or assemble an army of vengeful undead goat torsos. Yo, we gotta, like... We gotta mobilize for revolution, right? Right. Un undead goat horses. Yeah, I got. Uh, I got to agree with you there. Yes, necromancy. Look at his dumb face again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ultimate tool of the protesters' arsenal. Oh, oh. Can I ride a goat? Can I? <laughs> huh? <laughs> of course, you can ride a goat. In fact, given your size, you'll probably need to ride several. Consecutively. <laughs> What's several? <laughs> Is it like a really big goat? It's pronounced serval and it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> no time to explain basic concepts, Scott. We've got an invasion to orchestrate. As long as you're reanimating things, you reanimate some severed goat heads too. They'll be <gasps> anything. Which totally helps you clean your room. You gain plus two creativity and plus one. Smart. I just keep getting creativity when I try to be smart. This is working. <laughs> this is working. <laughs> 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 
Liam is dressed similarly to Dimitri, who's in the DLC. But the outfits came out before the DC. Oh, uh -oh. The what happened to Angeline? Something happened to Fire Harry. Uh -oh. Harry? <laughs> is that like a, a bad, is it a bad thing? Uh, no, it's just we a don't, event. We don't know yet. Hey, how'd they get the rights for a 24-hour fitness? Who knows? Uh, good <laughs> Uh, Jonathan. Oh, that night you head to Club Club with all your coolest friends, Liam, Polly, Vera, Persephone, and Green Boy. Unfortunately, when you get up to the front of the line, the bouncer and his massive club at Club Club tell you <laughs> Vera and Polly are banned. <gasps> banned? What? Just because last time we were here, I spiked everyone's drinks with chimera toxin and then charged them all for the antidote? Look at the... Look at her snake with its little... little punk rock bracelet. Oh my god. <laughs> Unfair. That was hilarious. It's not a crime if it's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's how the law works. Oh. I don't know, uh, Bennett, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Cue the law. Cue the law. We know how the law works. I think Vera's dressed as the shopkeeper because the cat ears. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, I think Polly is Scott. Stop right there, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Bonnet, you did it in all caps. I didn't know we could do that. Hey, it works. <laughs> nice. Well, don't just stand there, ladies. Seduce the bouncer. Use your wiles for the common good. Excuse you? Since when is it my job to use my sexuality to get you into clubs? I totally would, but the last time I had sex with this bouncer, I turned into his dead mom partway through as a joke, <laughs> and now I don't think he likes me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, faux pas. <laughs> I mean, I can change. It was all in good fun. I would forgive her. I think this. I think this illustration was written for this line. Look at her face. I think I'm really glad that I've decided to stay single. <laughs> Why you don't like the monsters? No, it, it's true. All six of them are absolutely horrible people. Horrible people. <laughs> Just really, really awful people. Really, because they're not people. Yeah, they're monsters. You could listen to- wait, no, it's not me, is it? It is you. You could listen to these three argue all night, but you'd rather do it well drunk, so you suggest the most obvious candidate. Oh, you have to choose one of us, Ange. Oh, fuck, man. Which, I forget which one of you has higher charm. Do you want to check, or do you want to just go off memory? Can I check? Yeah. No, you can't! No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> one of you, one of you went to, uh, Perse Persephone went to the auditorium. That's creativity, though. Oh, it was? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think charm is the gym. Only you've been to the gym. Use your memory. <laughs> so it's just base stats. Although I do think I've gotten a little bit... I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go with Green Boy. Okay. I mean, I did seduce the entire <laughs> population of Lemuria from Orbit. <laughs> he did write that sexy... Oh, thing. fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, all good. Your plan is simple, oh. yet oh, wow, bold. Terrible. You and Green Boy are each devastatingly sexy on your own. So you hoist Green Boy onto your shoulders and wrap the two of you in a trench coat, effectively doubling your sexiness. A bouncer looks at you perplexed. Who is this tall trench coat wearing monster? He asks. And why does it have a face sticking out of its crotch? It suddenly dawns on you that this plan was unbelievably stupid. The bouncer throws you out of line, totally ruining your trench coat in the process. Seriously? You couldn't have just tempted him with a threesome? That's what I always do. And there's only one of me. Oh, neither of you have very good charm. Yeah, but... 
But Green Boy gets Actually, the blame. <laughs> Either way, it would have been awful. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Everyone is doomed. Everyone oh, knows okay. that trench coats are for murders, not seductions. Hell amateurish. Everyone knows, or selling watches. I'm tempted to applaud your performance because everyone hates it, but it really was just very bad. <laughs> Dang, it's unanimous. You and Green Boy suck. You both <laughs> lose two fun and one charm. Oh no. Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> it's all good. Oh no. It's the heart of the cards. Everybody chooses a movie. I'm choosing Angie's for her. It's Cats. Say your oh, choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. You already chose Cats before I could choose it. No, I I, I know you were going to choose Cats. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. You glitched for a second. Yeah, I choose Cats 2019. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, um, I'll go with John Carpenter's The Thing. I'll go... Hi, Lexi! Hello! I will go with John Carpenter of Mars. John Carter of Mars. Never heard of that. Great. It's a... <laughs> it's by the guy who wrote Tarzan, but it's a, it's a bad oh. sci-fi. Neat. So, John Carpenter's The Thing, you said? Yeah. Okay. Play orders decided based on how weird it would be to watch porn based on the selected movie. The Thing! Wait, no. <laughs> Cat! <laughs> I don't know, they're both pretty awful. Though. Do we want to go with yiffing or tentacles? Ooh. Tentacles? Yeah, there's less hairballs to deal with. <laughs> well, it shows that Cats is already kind of a porn. So it like, is halfway there, yeah. Yeah, it's not that <laughs> weird. I guess it wouldn't be weird, that's true. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it already existed in the real world. Right, yeah. exactly. Okay, so let's say the thing, and then just the fact that no one would know what John Carter of Mars was before they would know what Cats was. I say second. Yep. <clears throat> um, sure. um, Green sure. Boy. Green Boy, what Green Boy gonna do? Green Boy. I'm Green just boy. gonna keep writing that creativity high. We're gonna go to the auditorium again. Okay, ooh. Yeah, that's that's quite up there. Wait, Green Boy, hold on. It's a uh, Galacerisophus. Oh, Gatrophilus. Gatrophilus. <laughs> that's right. Oh, your seduction plan with Gatrophilus didn't work. Gatrophilus. No, I, I, I switched two consonants there. Dang it. It's Gatrophilus. 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 Um, Ange. Sorry. Uh, that day, while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it is his job. <laughs> you act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. My favorite number of roses. Damn. Roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Fuck. Anyway. You checked your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Converter app! Hmm. It seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Two. I'm shocked that going to the place that gives you two creativity gave me two creativity. <laughs> Sweet! You gain two creativity. Whoa. Whoa. Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the embodiment of... In... In... On on ennui. On ennui. On ennui. It's French for douche. Ah, well, that's fair. Hey, Gatrolophus. <laughs> he knows my name! What are you doing? Stalking classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? Yes. <laughs> but that, that's how you pronounce it, yes. On the Wii! <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent. I could use some rather absurd advice. I was exchanging messages with a were koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. <laughs> but I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clingy, and Pink being koala. Yep. And being clingy is my seventh biggest turn-off. Right between sarcasm illiteracy and actually being a pickle and not a person. Which one's number six? <laughs> No, oh, that's a good point. 
The postmodern protocol dictates for me just to ghost him and never talk to him again. But that's horrible, and I would never do that to someone. You see... Well, of course not. You're not a monster. Yes, obviously. I'm Liam. Handsomely mysterious, yet a true gentleman. No one would question. But neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. So I've settled on just sending him a bunch of emojis and then never texting him again. That should do it, right? Yeah. The thing I is... I that kindly. Ooh. How can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? I don't know, man. That's Angeline's superpower. It is! It is. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Who's the narrator? Uh, it might be me. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is your time to shine. Show Liam you excel at complex sentiments so he might someday feel like sharing them with you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the second one is just not an emoji. Yep. <laughs> not yet. Um, given the logic of this game, I genuinely don't know which is more effective. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to assume that in this universe, little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached to where koala is not an emoji, and go with the first one. Okay. What? So creative. That's so... Creative, I know. Nuanced. And creative, I think, is the word. <laughs> Let's send it right now. <laughs> His dumb face! <laughs> He's texting wow. me back! Let's he is see. Well, yeah, that, that tracks. Liam, even it hurts my heart, I understand how you feel. Maybe oh, you're right. Is the square koala type. Maybe he's got only claws, so it's pretty fast. <laughs> Maybe we used to be like a croissant, and now we're just a school bus. It's the sound of him typing. <laughs> I thought it'd just be like more of like a single clack, like... <laughs> Maybe we should now do as shooting stars do and look for the trumpet to our crocodile. <laughs> Farewell, my purple shooting star. Perfect! Now we're overly attached to wear koala, and I can still have a clear conscience. Yeah, must... you didn't ghost him. You sent an essay in pictures. Yes. A picture is worth a thousand more pictures. I must mm -hmm. admit, your emoji poetry has touched my soul. You're an artist, and the smartphone is your gentle harp. I know. Maybe one day you could show me your feelings through delicate emojis, too? No, I don't like you. Ang! You were basically so nervous that you selected a bunch of emojis at random. But it worked! Sweet! <laughs> and who knows? Maybe Liam is the trumpet to your crocodile. I don't want he him to be. Two Tom <laughs> and one creativity. He's kind of a dude. Yeah, like, honestly, out of the six, I, I like him the least, just because he's he's awful in a real way, whereas the others are just awful in an unbelievable way. Fair. I'm only a little upset at you, Jonathan, because I'm ironically liking him, so I can really get to Polly, and even then, you're moving in on my turf. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's, um... Hmm. I'm not very fun, but I can buy fun. You can buy fun. I could, but I kind of... Andrew, are you planning on going to the shop? Uh, no. I've got one money. <laughs> you got one money. Okay, I'll go to the shop. Give me your money. <laughs> hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You that don't want... Sense. You don't want to get pocket cancer? Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Oh, look, it tells me I'm too poor for <laughs> cocaine, regular flavor. I'm going to take a very professional bathroom break. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Go for it. Hmm. Uh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You can afford that. I could. 
the uh hey yeah you know what i can buy fun if i buy fun then polly will like me that's uh, a blanket with holes in it okay that's funny but i'm gonna go with the glasses Ooh, i'm fun now you had cake play you had snack now you back welcome back how is snack I'm always amazed at how people keep coming and buying all this stupid crap. Intriguing. <laughs> Goodbye. Make your money, girl. We love an entrepreneur. Yeah. Oh, she's a cat, right? So she's an yeah. entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You know what? I... Uh... I'll go outdoors. Okay. Over here? Yeah. All right. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Love it. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. <laughs> oh, cake play. I want to hear your new, uh, I want to hear your new command. I'll have to watch, I can watch, at some point, I can watch on Thursday. Uh, you're wandering down the hallway, reading Dragon Heat as discreetly as you can. <laughs> Which apparently isn't very, because Polly and Vera clock this immediately. Fuck yeah, gals. Ugh. <laughs> Are you actually reading erotic fan fiction about dragons? Yes. You want to give a quick spin on your sure. your perception of Polly? Sorry to interrupt. Sure. Oh you shoot! Oh, he's, back. he's back. Right because in time. We love dragon hate. I'm all about 19th century Russian literature, but a ghost girl can't say no to some erotic fanfic. Am I right? Oh, it's fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> I've Dragons. literally been working oh, on my Madonna Bond B strike cosplay all week. This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> A wink. Speak for yourself, Polly. I don't. I've never. Yeah, right, Vera. Okay, fine. I'm Avery Dragon Heat, but don't go around just telling people. You're cl we're clearly safe with her. A fellow Draco file can always be trusted. <laughs> Lexi, Guys, I hope you don't think less of me, but I've actually never fucked a dragon. I haven't either. Oh, thank God, that makes me feel a lot better. But there was. Really brave of you to admit. I mean, I found a, a vinyl couch. I was pretty convincing, but I can <laughs> say officially, uh, I'm also in the same boat. Lexi, you were lurking. Bond over this. <laughs> Lexi, good that you're busy. Good, Lexi, good. Are you sure? I mean, anyone into Dragon Heat must have a wicked mind. 297 chapters <laughs> and counting, and it still manages to amaze me with all new levels of wrong. Yeah, right? I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I'm a bit vanilla when it comes to fave chapters. Mine is the one where Harold McDonghard, <laughs> Horace the Hydra, and the deranged Draco Del Corte have to rest at an inn after the Choking Bay adventure. You... <laughs> this probably is real, Angeline. I'm so ready for this. I think we need Andrew to do a dramatic reading like he did of the, uh, the, James, <laughs> the James Joyce letters. <laughs> and the cyber... <laughs> and the cyber... The rhinoceros, yes. <laughs> Only to discover they have just one available bed. There's only one bed. The classic fanfic trick that never fails. Ha! Yes, that one was good. I personally prefer the one where Venisaria unmasks her masked savior after a passionate kiss, only to discover it's herself. And then they totally bang. That's actually a real kink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan of time travel, but sign me up for some good self-zest. 
Oh, see, there's even a word for it. There's a word for it. Amen. <laughs> what about you, Fire Hero? What's your favorite story arc? Okay, so I think I have to pick the boldest one. Nothing to worry about. You'll just be revealing your inner kinks to us. No pressure. Bitch, I was made for that. You totally read the whole thing cover to cover, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see the six caliber arc where they want to discover the chosen one who can control the mythical six caliber dildo and they have the super orgy so everyone can have their turn. <laughs> 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 what about this exclusive chapter I've written myself? Ooh, shit. Which one is bolder? I feel like it's gotta be. The, the second, second. one's probably the second one's probably creativity though. Mm -hmm. Oh, sh you're right. You're right. Okay, the first one. <laughs> okay. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. How can we forget about the sex caliber arc? With 297 chapters, it's rather easy for to get some arcs. Yeah, but that one was epic. The tension and thrill of wondering who would be the chosen one each time someone used the magical dildo. I must admit it was very lubricating. Hopefully lubricated as well. Also, I should praise the fact that it was entirely written from the viewpoint of the dildo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'd be curious to read this. 100%. <laughs> oh boy. Who would have thought? Fire here is such a kinky deviant. Maybe we should do our own Excalibur trial one day, huh? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Yet. But I might or might not have an official Excalibur dildo myself. It's hard to say. Official? What does that Stop mean? Right it's fanfic. Scott. No. Breaks the law on my watch. This is so against the law. What an amazing art. <laughs> it's hard to say no to dragon dildos. I never have been able to personally. Make sure no one clips that. But even if you do, you can't prove that I said that. Because no face cam. Hey. Hey. Fuck yeah. No face cam. All those years of insecurity, and it turns out that erotic dragon fanfics were the ultimate icebreaker. Here, have two smarts and one fun to celebrate your unexpected discovery. Hey. I'm so glad you bought this book. Thank you. <laughs> Good choice. Everybody chooses a celebrity. celebrity. Say your choice out loud, the rest of the players. Nick Cage. Aaron Kit Carter. Kit Harrington. <laughs> All right. You say Aaron Carter? I did. And Nick Cage? Okay. Mm -hmm. Player orders is decided by how likely it is that the selected celebrity is secretly a vigilante superhero. It's Nick uh, Cage. It's Nick Cage. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Kit Harrington might be too obvious. Aaron Carter is very, like, <laughs> kind of just drugged out, disappeared after he cashed his check. Or so we think. Right. Exactly. Sex Calibur is the new celebrity cake play. Oh, I'm I'm gonna fight for for second. I I think I deserve second. Okay, that's fair. Let's do this. Here you go. Will I get to choose where to sit? Yes, you do. There are five yeah. options, five tables. Okay, and some of these characters look new. Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna sit um top right corner. The gallery. Oh, I'm so upset. Because oh, that's a girl's no, no, room. No, it's okay, it's nope, no, it's choice. do you wanna go <laughs> do you wanna go there? <laughs> and and stop us from following our, our passions? What do you mean? Uh, up? Okay, uh, I'll go hang out with the the weird guy at the middle table. He is weird. Yeah, you can have you, you can. Not. Let's go. <laughs> Are you sure? I didn't want to make you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. I almost chose him anyway. Uh, who's oh. gonna voice this new guy? And oh, if you had a new... okay. No, I, oh. think, I, I do think it's my turn. <laughs> okay. No, no. Uh, he means for when the guy comes up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
You you've barely sat down when the whole wolf pack comes running over, clearly panicking. Oh wait, this one it is me in the cycle, I think. Oh yeah, you were the narrator, yes. Oh shit, I don't want him to sell I always end up with a dude. Um <laughs> What if we give him like a southern drawl? Dog, yeah. you gotta help us. We're suffocating. <laughs> it's like we're not getting enough air. We can hardly talk. <laughs> ah, you see the problem. Oh, sorry, Jonathan. You You're right. This them is... that in addition to breathing out, they need to also <laughs> breathe in. Oh, whoa, that worked way better. I have no idea how we forgot that. <laughs> but, uh... yeah, I'm liking the southern drawl for this. Panette, did you clip the thing I said not to clip? Definitely clip the thing you said not to clip. Oh, 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 oh no. Thank you, Panette, but that's against the law. <laughs> yeah, you don't either. Thanks for saving our lives, dog. We owe you <laughs> one, and we'll pay you back. Sexually. Right now. What do you want? <laughs> We'll do literally anything. You never say don't clip this. Good point. Good point. Is he an entire pack of wolves? Is that what we're talking about? I right think now? technically is... he is a they. Oh, just I love the, that. Just the really collective love that. consciousness mm -hmm. of a lot of wolves. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I would I would date this guy. I would take him to prom. Or, I'm sorry, I would date this creature. It's a them. I would date wolf wolfy creature. I would date um, I would date they. Yeah. <laughs> I would date today. Okay, wait. So, am I choosing the option that most reflects my skill set or what I think his skill set is since he's the one teaching? I think someone in chat really said cool. this is more just getting extra skills. Uh, this oh. doesn't reflect so much on the rest of the game. These, these, um, okay. noons. Then give me that makeover. Hey, oh. He's ripped. I'll do it. Like an extreme, uh, an extreme makeover. Like an extreme makeover. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. How many limbs do you want to end up with? <laughs> you nod because apparently this is what you want from a pack of idiot dogmen. <laughs> well, they must have been calculus. <laughs> All right, boys. You know what that means. Time for one of our patented extreme. Spa treatment. <laughs> Why do they have a routine for this? Suddenly, you're surrounded by wolves covering your face with their wide, moist tongues. <laughs> Hashtag Dragon Heat, the lost <laughs> chapter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jonathan, for the, the Foley. Yeah, uh, that's actually Clint. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the Foley, yeah. Thank you, Clint, for the Foley. Yeah. No, no, like, I, I was the tongue thing, but he's the Foley. True. Oh, you get it. Clever, clever. <clears throat> you can feel your pores really opening up beneath the relentless torrent of dog saliva and unconditional love. <laughs> what a treat. When the wolf pack finally gets bored of licking you, you're positively glowing. You gain four charm. Oh, you guys, it's not even that I would settle taking him to prom. I actively want to take him to prom. I love that. Secret <laughs> route, secret route, follow yeah. your dream. <laughs> um, I'm not, hmm. I feel like I don't have a rapport with anyone at all. So I'm going to go top right and see if I have any chance with Miranda or whoever that is in the bottom right. No, not, what is her name? Polly? No, top top left. I top mean, left. No, top. no, no, no. Top right. But never mind. What is so that? here. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. About that. <laughs> uh, Ange. It is Miranda. That is. Miranda. You arrive at your table to find the coven eating and Polly and Miranda screaming. Okay, so who's up for new characters? Uh. I'll I'll do Miranda. Okay. I think it you're entitled to that. If okay. one of you wants to, that's totally fine. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the second one, because there's two. I'll do the coven. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. There's, like, a bunch of new ones. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're under attack! Alarm! Alarm! Summon the guards! 
They're using their bizarro mind powers on me. The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. She uses shades just like me, clearly because the evil twin thing. We're, I think this is fair because you're both here. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not attacking anyone. We're eating. What do you mean less attractive? Lies. <laughs> Subterfuge. Uh, I can feel them in my brain making me less cool and sexy. Uh... <laughs> Holy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Every single lunch hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish menace. Oh, it's my turn. I forgot. <laughs> yes. I'm in Miranda's honor. Yeah. Drug their food. Yeah, look at uh, these outfit swaps. I think... Yeah. I think the middle witch is Vera. The right yeah. witch is Polly. Polly mm -hmm. is the coach. Miranda Scott, is the prince. Right? Doesn't Scott dress like that? Is that Scott? I think so. Oh, I think... Okay. I thought it was the coach. Yeah, yeah, that's Scott. Miranda's the prince. the prince. Yeah. The left witch is Miranda. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna joust in Miranda's honor. We'll see if okay. we can catch her attention, since I hate everybody else who's looked my way. Polly is the coach. Okay. Oh, okay. That's me, <laughs> Colander Knight. <laughs> Call on your head, a baking sheet on your chest, and a dousting lance under your arm. <laughs> Wait, why do why is the jousting lance the one thing I have? My hero, charge to vanquish the invaders. <laughs> charge. <vanquish> my... <laughs> Whoa! Hey, we don't want any trouble. We'll just move over there. My knight and sweet, the day is saved. Oh, valiantly fought, noble champion. Thanks. I work out. <laughs> wow. Did those three just disintegrate into a pile of turtles, or am I just super high? <laughs> you think that question would be much answered? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I can't use my new glasses to go over and have fun, so... I ruined your life. You did. Hey, thanks. Let's go to Damien. <laughs> That's not Damien. I mean, Liam. You take your seat between the strongest <laughs> and smartest men you know. Oh, no. Liam appears to be taking a very intense picture of some bizarre looking food. Scott is looking about as confused as you are currently. Never, never put that together for myself. Neither of these statements is wrong, but they also aren't quite connected. <laughs> Scott, if I had the capacity to eat, I assure you, I would still ignore the actual content of the food in favor of finding the perfect combination for a flawless Instagram post. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're gonna post a picture to advertise the food to people who can actually <clears throat> eat it. You're so no. I'll be happy to eat your food for you. I'm afraid your palate is way, way too unsophisticated <laughs> to appreciate these rare Japanese delicacies. Yeah, I'm sure the public school cafeteria's Japanese inspired lunch is really nuanced. <laughs> I don't know if this is Japanese. public school. True. Scott snacks? Scott, Scott snacks? Like, you, <laughs> you know what? Fine. I've taken all the pictures I need. Eat whatever you want. Thanks, Liam. Oh, they all look so yummy. I don't know where to start. For Stephanie, any ideas? Come on, Clay. Choose what's gonna go in his face. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Love food. Maybe your choice of snack can get one of these boys to want to snack on you. In an innuendo way, not literally. Yeah, that would be complicated. That yeah. would have some problems. Obviously, the lychee-flavored custard with a side of tofu and a drizzle of raspberry extract is the most superior food on the palate. 
Go for the brightly colored bag of meat biscuits that somehow has an anime drawing of Scott's face on it that says Scott Snacks. Cake play, I, I agree. I, I noticed that uh, <laughs> she actually was dressed as Paul. Yeah. That was fantastic design. Oh. Um, I would actually eat this first one, plus it's for Liam. So I think that's the one. Because that fits my diet. It's sweet, and because it's tofu, it's not substance. No nutritional value, that's me. <laughs> oh, Per Stephanie, I always knew you were a monster of impeccable taste. Impeccable. Actually, that isn't true. I assume everyone has horrible taste and useless aesthetic. But in this case, it's pretty clear that this assumption does not apply to your beautiful self. Beautiful! Oh, Liam used the word beautiful? Oh! Oh, I, I'm... I, I'm about to faint. I pray. Did, did I say beautiful? I meant your... Aesthetic is beautiful. Because mm. we have the same aesthetic. Mm. The, le the lychee custard picture has already gotten more likes than any other food on this table. It's all over my body. <laughs> I'm kind of into Scott, too. <laughs> not a lot. I think I out of the main six... Part. I think out of the main six, he's the only valid choice in terms of actually being a legitimately okay person. Agreed. Fair. How could the way it tastes possibly have any relevance to a conversation about food? Liam, you're so smart that I don't even understand how that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> Thank you for being someone with whom I can actually discuss the important nuance of Japanese food pictures. It appears to be you and me against a very ignorant world. Arigato. <laughs> yeah, Arigatoni. Arigato <laughs> Arigatoni. Yeah, stupid everyone else for actually eating their food and not taking pictures. Thank goodness you and Liam have each other. Zoxo. <laughs> Let's trade places. Let's trade places. Everybody chooses something bad. <laughs> Say your choice out loud. Oh, no. Um, you cheese. YouTube ads. Four more years of Trump. Oh, God, Oof. why did you do that? Oof. <laughs> That is bad. <laughs> Player orders decided based on how much our country Stop needs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do not need a minister of four more years. Yeah. Of Angeline's in third place. Angeline's yeah. in third. <laughs> so do we need a YouTube, uh, a minister of YouTube ads or of moldy cheese? I think Honestly, I think the YouTube ads deserve more bureaucratic intervention yeah yeah pretty rough nope no nope, hate it bye oh you made you made cake play ban themselves they're just oh no Some bad girl or boy or they I don't it's really it's know a they place. they're both I don't have the... oh okay they uh they're a jake and a caitlin they're a cake a jaitlin. <laughs> oh that's cute they're a jaitlin they hate that <laughs> Good. I hate it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, the auditorium has that. Oh, okay. No, you know what? I got my glasses. Yeah. I'm going for it. Fun. Woohoo! Cake play! That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes so <laughs> crazy. Everything is fine until Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks what you think what you think you're doing. <laughs> I like Aaron, that he's small. <laughs> you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move. Apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Yeah. Juan looks at you and Also does it. He asks there we you go. to teach him the Groovy Musaka. <laughs> In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the groovy Misaka all together. There you That's go. how I, I do. Like the rest of them. It's a party That's to remember. True. You gain two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Yay, cake play. That's Did true. I? He is a real character now. Juan, the small Oh wow. Juan, the small magical Latino cat, appears in the sequel. He appears. 
Yeah. In the sequel. <gasps> oh, I want to date him. <laughs> you probably can. <laughs> yeah, casually reading the latest issue of Monster Magazine when you are rudely interrupted. So no, he's following me. He is. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I Doctor. thought. Oh, see. Even per Stephanie, a sensible monster with a good head on her shoulders, and at least some plus smarts, is reading <laughs> Monster Magazine. Yeah, and that's bad, because we're warriors, so we need to fight. Did Damien just kind of ollie out of the entire story? That <laughs> <laughs> takes the magazine from you and punches it. <laughs> Let's go solve another of the world's major problems. No, Scott. We're social justice <laughs> warriors. You see, allow me to explain this to you, Persephone. Ever since... Uh, <laughs> ever since our major success with the Fengal's Goathead debacle, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice. By punching men. No, Scott. Big play, yeah. Uh, old times announcer voice definitely made it onto my voiceover reel. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> Yay! As you no doubt noticed, Monster Magazine's sexiest monster alive this year is Count Victor von Musselbod, the werewolf prince slash bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth royal well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fifth royal werewolf bodybuilder in a row to earn the title. What about those of us with leaner physiques? What about our what of our representation? So now we're endeavoring a lot like Zacharias in the new hit game Hades. Oh, it's popular? I hate it. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we're endeavoring to get Monster Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as their sexiest creature alive. Okay, well, I appreciate that. I would not call lean men marginalized wait is he trying to get himself yeah oh, you, you, uh, you just need to figure out a way to convince them since i guess punching the magazine wasn't good enough did you just punch it again <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's easy all you need to do to solve everyone's body image issues forever is Make our own version of the magazine featuring a three-winged chupacabra on the cover. Mm. Or lean heavily into the warrior part. Storm Monster Magazine and hold the editor-in-chief captive until he promises to stop exclusively promoting one aesthetic as the pinnacle of monster sexiness. Cake play, I'm, I'm glad you agree. I've, I've got over 180, uh, 180, 100 hours in Hades, and that was before uh, it released. 180s in 80s! Yeah, I, I would be lying if I said I was not playing it last night. <laughs> uh, Angeline Hades is a is a fun, neat, cool new game where you get to meet all of the uh, like the pantheon of Greek mythology, and you can try to date them all. Oh, shit. I mean, that's a really bad description. Of the <laughs> okay, again, I don't want to date any of them, but I would like to play the game. Great. I know enough about Greek mythology to understand what a bad idea <laughs> with the is. Yes. Yeah, I, I would say that the romance aspect of Hades is legitimately at most 5% of the game. Okay, correct, great. correct. And I will probably be on board. Yay! Ooh, we, have, we have much to show you. Much to show you. Bennett, you just played Genshin. That's another wife, waifu simulator. I love Genshin. I've put yeah. way too much time into it in the past week. I have talked about the amount of time that you have put into that game. Aw. That's probably <laughs> concerning. To, to cake play. To cake play. Okay. Uh, make our own version of the map. Uh, yeah, I think that is the one for now, even though this is the answer I agree with. This is the Liam answer. Okay. What a brilliant idea. Three-winged chupacabras are definitely an undeserved, an, un, an underserved population. <laughs> like that. He's always wanted to be a model, but never thought anyone would want to do pictures of him. Now he can. You can, and you do. 
You do all the pictures and make a mock-up of your own monster magazine. It goes hella viral, <laughs> and before long, it's becoming more celebrated than the actual monster magazine. Pretty soon after, you get a letter from the editor-in-chief officially admitting defeat in the face of your superiority and relinquishing his magazine and headquarters to you. Oh. Oh, they both worked. <clears throat> Sweet. Now you have a magazine, which instantly brings you plus three money. Oh. Hey. I know you were about to move on to your next misadventure, but I just wanted to say really quickly... As pretty much the only girls in the school shaped differently than the rest of our classmates, it is really nice to see a three-winged chupacabra celebrated over a royal werewolf bodybuilder. It gives us hope too, you know? The main one's like the only one who doesn't look exactly like Polly and Miranda, though. That's exactly True. what I was thinking. Yep. Oh, that was actually really sweet. The coven is so much cooler when they're not babbling on and on about that end-of-the-world bullshit and expecting your help with it. It's way more fun to interact with your classmates when they're complimenting you instead. <laughs> Neat. One for the world. None for Polly. <laughs> uh... I feel boring if I just keep going to the auditorium, but that's all I've got going for me. Do what you yeah, want, yeah. do what you know. But I do think I have the DLC for this. I've never played it, though. You know what? I'm gonna work on my boldness. Get me into the bathroom. <laughs> Stat! That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I'm sewing a jacket. <laughs> but you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity, so you do some graffiti on the wall. No way. The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. Yeah, I, I really am trying. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? what a wall. <laughs> a deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. It worked. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, <laughs> lucky you. In the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. Oh. You dive in to rescue them and straight into... Oh boy. <laughs> the season finale of the Interdimensional Bachelor. <laughs> Fuck. I love that. Good lord. Help, I'm in danger of spraying my eyes, rolling them so hard. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> We're on an angel? <laughs> yes, indeed. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial, I mean, trivia questions. <laughs> Whoever gets the most points becomes my. I'm gonna win, don't even care what the prize is. Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios. Our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you? Getting a little meta there, Liam. I am fogging up the fourth wall because I am so close to it. That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. Same. Everybody stop raising reasonable concern so I can hear the first question. <laughs> That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. Just so I can take notes. <laughs> But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. Alliteration! Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I know, I they're both so good. <laughs> 
Oh, 100%, oh I would choose God. one of them. <laughs> you know, put me down for beer tap. Beer tap? I am now a beer tap. Okay. Okay. I hate to break it to you, that does not say beer. Oh. <laughs> you thought it said beer? I did. <laughs> I thought it said beer pours out. Um, what? Let me reconsider. I don't think there's two different words that a typo could ruin just as badly. <laughs> uh, okay, bees it is. Take it away, Oprah. <laughs> you unhinge your jaw and let the bees pour out. You definitely couldn't do this back in your home dimension. Ah, uh, stop that. You're supposed to answer with words, not bees. <laughs> Probably should have specified that. Bees seem like a legitimate answer to me. What, are you against avant-garde fo Sorry, avant-garde forms of expression? Words are so no. passé. God. You totally stole my answer. I don't want to yell because I think my roommates are trying to sleep, but I love <laughs> that this entire scene is in all caps for Polly. <laughs> wait, wait, I've got it. Polly, uh, Polly unhinges her ghostly jaw and thousands of locusts pour out. Damn, you wish you'd thought of that. Locusts are way cooler. Bring in the bees, Bennett. Bring in the bees. Doesn't matter, though. The prince is so busy fending off bugs, he can't focus on keeping you in his dimension. You'll teleport back home. You're pleased with your victory, although your throat is a little hoarse. <laughs> which is ironic, because a little horse isn't what came out of your mouth. Bees came out of your mouth. <laughs> you gained plus two creativity and one boldness. Well, that is the perfect recipe of stats I wanted for this round, so great. Good. All right, uh, Ange. Take your leader. The auditorium. Ooh. Okay. The auditorium. Can I just hide something from her, though? Or can I just do... There... I believe there is always a zero-cost item. There's always a what? A zero-cost item. Oh, I'm just trying I didn't to, know I was that. trying to get creativity points. Okay, we can do that, too. I think you still will. Okay, cool. Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. What's up, kitty? Okay, so you, you can afford one of two things. Zero, I think. Oh, wow, well, that is what that is. Or what? The gift? Um... I guess I'll take the gift. It's, it looks like it's free, right? Yeah. It's free, yeah. Oh, now I get what the gift is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a re-gift gift, so you give uh... it to someone so that they have a gift to give someone. Gotcha, great. See, oh, I'm, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs giving. Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to open it? Being... Oh, yeah. the present gives you something random. I love oh. that. So here we go. Very good. What? It will make you laugh big time. A very oh good salad. God. What? Look at your you stats. So many stats. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Look at your I think stats. It's temporary though, because look, there's like a buff sticker. Where do you see the buff sticker? No. Under her stats, next to the fanfic. Oh. No, that's the salad. That's the yeah, salad. Okay. I wonder if that's only for a few rounds. I don't um, know. This game is only a few rounds. Oh, wait. No, no. That's the inventory, not the yep. stats. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Fuck okay. yeah. Okay. Give that's a satisfying a salad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jesus Christ. I'm going to eat my veggies more often. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> wow. Wow. Very good. Hey. Oh, again. <laughs> you go back to the same club club. <laughs> Club club with the club bouncer. 
That Sunday, while doing your weekend morning jogging, Liam appears in front of you out of an explosion of purple smoke. He seems bees. oddly... Bees distressed. <laughs> hey, uh, you're friends with Persephone and... Shit. Uh, Claude... Claude Metropolis. <laughs> Clodrophosis. Dialysis, right? I only ask because I am, uh, uh, contemplating a romantic outcome with one or both of them. Toss it, baby, let's go. You see, Persephone is deliciously apathetic, and Green Boy is alluringly sundere. <laughs> But are they authentic? I would hate to initiate an amorous engagement only to find myself accidentally shackled to a, represent a representative of the mainstream. Please, I beseech you, can you offer any proof of either party's indie credentials? Uh, okay, hold on. What? The what first is this one's really funny. What is this based on? I don't know. Ah, fuck it. Indy is not a stat. I know, right? For Stephanie. Okay. That's that's what I choose. Okay. Bennett loves Sundaries. Oh, okay. Already oh. loves you. <laughs> I mean, I also love Sundaries. They're great. I, I had no idea. What an incredible waste of effort. To sacrifice one's entire education and academic future. Just for the sake of irony? <laughs> Why, it's more beautiful than than an obscure black and white student film consisting of fourteen hours of toilets flushing. Of, of course I graduated high school four hundred years ago and have been going ironically ever since. I'm ashamed to say that I actually recently watched a video of someone <laughs> watching a video of toilets flushing and it was very entertaining. <laughs> huh. They were entertained by the video, or you were entertained watching them? I was entertained by how strong their reactions were. Wow. Stop but we... Right there, <laughs> That's against the law. <laughs> my watch. That's against the law. That's fair. Oh. I shouldn't uh, be talking about other streams. No, no, we've all, uh, we've all hit that quarantine mode. Peak quarantine <laughs> mode. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I never watched streams before 2020. Never once. Now I watch them almost every day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hmm. Uh, but an infinite lifetime does offer significantly increased opportunities for irony. Perhaps I'll ask Persephone to share mine. Uh, looks like you're a hell of a wing person. Get it? Oh. Looks like you're a hell of a wing person. Get it? Because Liam can turn into a bat? Oh, whatever. You gain two smarts. Yeah. Yeah, ship them. Everybody chooses ah. an animal. Chameleon. <laughs> Ostrich. Okay. Good one. Play order is decided based on how cute a video where a charming cat becomes friends with a selected <laughs> animal. <laughs> what was your Angelina? <laughs> Two cats? I, I vote for chameleon. I, yeah, I think so too. Oh. Okay. Then second, cat with this cat with cat or cat with ostrich? Cat. I don't no, cat, think cat with cat to be third. <laughs> I I don't know if I agree with you. Yeah. Really? Like, not to argue against myself. The entire internet are just so would disagree. Dangerous and dumb. Oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Like, I would just be scared for the cat the whole time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, it's a charming cat, not necessarily, like, a kitten. Like, <laughs> if it's a chat, if it's a cat that can, like, defend itself, like a mean cat. I don't think a person could defend themselves <laughs> against an ostrich. <laughs> but, Nat, what a catastrophe. You're right. <laughs> okay. A fire hair and then ostrich. I mean, uh, Vesuvius. <laughs> Petrolophus, it's not hard. <laughs> oh boy. 
What am I going to do? Uh, fun, money, there's no, yeah, I just have to go all in with Liam, don't I? Yep. Yeah. He's your okay. boy. He's, He's your my boo. boy. Let's go smart, because that usually gets me something else I like. Oh, shoot! I didn't look close enough at the map. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird shit instead, am I right? Okay. That was my motto in college. <laughs> That's charm. That's... Huh. I think that smarts. That's definitely creativity. Because it says creativity on it. Uh, Let's go with creativity. Woo! Okay. Yeah, who would want to save money for their college fund when you can spend it on weird stuff that's, like, mostly useless? That's the spirit, champ. Let's do this. Present? Oh, okay, Clay, I didn't see that in time. I could have got a present, too. But now I have no money. Yay. Uh, Which is a present in itself because it protects you from yourself. An ostrich can kill a lion via dislocating the head with a single kick. Jeez. Bonnet, you don't need to tell us how you know that, but you need to tell us that that knowledge will be used for good. I'm very happy that you presented that to us. I I feel validated in my arguing against myself now. <laughs> Listen, there are two things in this world that I fucking hate. Birds <laughs> and fish. They're all creepy. They're all evil. There's no redeeming qualities to either of them. That's not true. They're both very nutritious. I don't eat either of them, so... <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. Why like... They're so weird, and they swim in their own food. Why would I put that in my mouth? <laughs> She's uh, not wrong. Yeah, there's definitely... Yeah, uh, eating fish is not all good. It's just got good in it. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Um, I'll go to class. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> None of us have. None of us have. This is school. <laughs> uh, here? Yeah, take me to class. Take me to class. I'll listen that. <laughs> You're so damn smart. You shouldn't <laughs> worship in school. Not in a public school, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forgot that attending class was supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. <laughs> you gain two smarts. Later, you're carrying around your precious dragon. Your <laughs> yes! By Miranda and Damien? Oh. Wait, hold on. You know what just occurred to me? Yeah. But, like, it already makes no sense that only one person can be in a place at a time, but that especially makes no sense for the classroom. Which is where yep. we are all required to be at the same time. Correct. I would be surprised if someone asked that same question in, like, the DLC. By the way, look in the background. That creature is what Scott is dressed as. Oh, oh my okay. god. It's a slime boy. Oh. What a good friend. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh this, so this is all Ange. Perfect. Yep, here we go. Also, you may not know this about Damien to look at him, but it turns out that he, too, is a hopeless romantic at heart. Or at least just horny for dragons. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a... Uh, reading yeah. the same series. I'm in it for Dragon Dong, Mary. <laughs> Nothing so bad yet so good as a billionaire dinosaur. I think that's literally Chuck Tingle copyright infringement. <laughs> but, um, called it. <laughs> Damien, you are being utterly foul. Don't profane the deep emotional connection between Harold McDonkhard and Godiva Galantina. Deep emotional connection? Is that why the latest chapter ends with Harold finally boning Godiva and then she wakes up, finds him gone? 
The cliffhanger must be entirely misleading. <clears throat> People simply don't abuse each other's love and then trust that way, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I worry about you, Mary. I really do. Like, considering the people you go to school with, that innocence is especially dangerous. I know, yeah. right? I just desperately want to know what happens next in Dragon Gate. Do you think Harold is capable of being so mean-spirited? I mean, I kind of feel where she's coming from. Like, the reason I don't watch more, like, Korean dramas is because they're all just so mean to each other at the yeah, beginning. Right. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, true art imitates life. Let's look at Damien's Tinder message. <laughs> <laughs> capable of, shall we? <laughs> Harold may or may not be a scoundrel, but love is alive and well. Let me take both of you on the greatest three-way first date ever. <gasps> oh, you know what? I'm feeling big. High roller. Go for that second one. <laughs> Although, I think it's funny that to avoid copyright infringement, they just spelled Tinder right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, point. Man. I, I'm hopeful for your chances, Ange. Because look, you have you have big salad energy. I'm stacked, man. Let's You're stacked. Here we one. go. <laughs> <laughs> and he, in the midst of a school day, why, my duty, responsibility, and breeding say no, but my heart says yes. And that's all that matters. Your fanfic told you that. Exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh, David doesn't look asleep. I have a midterm in Interdimensional P305, so anything's better than that. Three-way oh, date. Three-way date. <laughs> I do love being courted. Let us flee to the absolutely most romantic day that has ever happened to me ever. Yay! <laughs> That's a high bar. Actually, you're a romance expert because you ate a salad. Which is a single night of the year instead of paying attention to the studies that might benefit you later in life. You show up with chocolates, flowers, and a bevy of myrrh slaves from Miranda, and a pack of matches and a gallon of gasoline for Damien. Oh, you're perfect. I really am. I'm so good. I told you I got game. <laughs> you go on an absolutely splendid date during which Damien only commits a few murders. You gain two fun and one charm. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to say about this. Mm -hmm. If I do wind up going to prom with somebody, it will be true, like a manifestation of that adage. It happens when you're least looking for it, right? You went in being like, you know what? I'm great. One salad later, I am great. Uh, this, I gotta this pee is... again. Okay. Not not in real life. I mean in, in the game. Oh, oh yeah, go to the bathroom. Oh, gotcha. I, 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 I get it. <laughs> that day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Nothing has changed since last round. On the way there, you run into Mamimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Guarana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. <laughs> well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain two boldness, thank my Mimi, and proceed to the bathrooms. Fantastic. <laughs> you come too. As if you had been knocked out or drugged or something. To the sound of... <laughs> Welcome back to season two of the Interdimensional Bachelor. Today's competitors are last season's flaw in the cogs. Green Boy. Sorry, uh, I have a note here. Gr gr <laughs> Green Boy and an army of sexy werewolves. <gasps> oh, yes. My loves are all <laughs> Oh, fuck. How do I do a southern accent again? Um, what's up, losers? Good enough? <gasps> oh, my God. It's oh my God. all you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chose none. How's it going? Welcome to, uh... I asked my friends to read all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I chose. Sorry, perhaps not. 
that, but you have a fiery temperament, wolf-like drive, and kill abs, so it's close enough. <laughs> I do, okay. Yeah, bro. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> I thought we were going to do a, a sports game. <laughs> sports game. Sports game. <laughs> you are indistinguishable from ESPN. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we are, my dear sweet army of sexy werewolves. And Green Boy. Wink. <laughs> and Damien. We are. In fact, it's time for our first round. Are you ready? For your first test of speed, strength, and skill on the Interdimensional Bachelor Season 2. Season 1 was half an episode. There was no conclusion. <laughs> it's time to see which of you incredible lichens can sign your name on this legally binding document that is no way a marriage contract the bastard <laughs> you can see the werewolf's tails wagging in anticipation oh ready to prove themselves the fastest bestest athletes and damien is cracking his knuckles not about to be outdone if you don't step in, at least one or two of these people are going to end up married to the prince out of sheer hyper-competitiveness. Thinking quickly, you... <laughs> you know, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Down the hatch. Fast as lightning, you sprint over to the table where the marriage contract sits and devour it. Fibrous. <laughs> I... <laughs> Southern I contemplation. The wolf boys. <laughs> I honestly. I have no backup plan. That was it. I was really, really counting on the athlete's sense of competition to immediately drive them to sign the contract. With no thought whatsoever. <laughs> you Naruto runs to that contract. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so confident in that, that I... Well... I suppose you can all just... Go home now. <laughs> See you next scheme. And if he calls that a scheme, that's pretty embarrassing. Who would actually fall for it? Oh man, that was fair. <laughs> he ate the contract before we even got started. <laughs> yeah, don't hate me, hate the game. Rematch, rematch, rematch. <laughs> He's like, this time I'll eat it fastest. <laughs> Ooh, if we're doing a rematch, I'm definitely going to sign the contract so good, so fast. You and Damien hustle the werewolves out of the prince's dimension before they can accidentally marry themselves off. And so you all remain single, happily ever after, free to take whomever you want to prom. Whomever. Whomever. You gained two fun and one smart. But choose a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players for clicking. Nabisco. Swatch. <laughs> was that all three? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Ange, what would you say? Juicy. Juicy. I was going to say juicy. <laughs> but then I said swatch. Um... And what'd you say, Jonathan? Nabisco. Nabisco. Gotcha. Did Bennett. Yeah. Blue apron. Blue apron. <laughs> 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 nice. Blue apron. Okay. Player orders decided based on how intriguing it would be if the selected brand decided to produce their own TV show. <laughs> Those are both just Food Channel. Chips Ahoy and Oreos. 
Right, but it's just the same episode every day. They just change the flavor of the Oreo. Oh, mm, that's pretty good. Uh, Swatch, unfortunately, is just a uh, 90s premium like HBO. You have to pay to access it, and you cannot stream it, and you cannot DVR it. It's just Swatch. I mean, I wouldn't watch any of the three of them, but of the three, I would be most likely to check the Swatch one out just to be like, <laughs> what the fuck did they televise? <laughs> Yeah. Like, at least with Nabisco and Blue Apron, you can shove a bunch of product placement and, like, mm-hmm. build a family that has their lifestyle built around this brand. With Swatch, it's just like, what, do you make a time travel series? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I left one watch over there, and now I'm over here. <laughs> time? I that by making it, like, a weird HBO, you have to pay for a thing, it becomes more mysterious. So that's not <laughs> Okay, I will take first, then. Blue Apron. Oh, man. Blue Apron featuring an all-Nabisco diet would be what I want to watch. <laughs> I think Nabisco's number two. Okay. There we go. Week three, noon. All right, only two more decisions. Oh, oh, new character. Two new characters. Okay. Do, do I go for Liam or do I try for Polly? Fair call. Uh, I'm so creative. But I'm fun. I'm going. Okay, here we go. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of me face planting in my food with my eyes closed and tongue out. Therefore. Right here, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own so you don't have to look like a fucking know-it-all. <laughs> Cake play, they don't know yet, or at least one of them doesn't. Again, late over here, you want to see the results. Getting tired all day. Go to bed if you need to, cake play. You just moved. Getting used to it. It's a new meme, Miranda, like planking or dabbing. It's called food poisoning, and it's dope AF. Don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? Thank you for the bits, cake play. Thank you. Oh, Thanks that's so, much so nice. For hanging out with us for so oh, long. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, while we're looking at the screen, let me, Angeline, you didn't get to see this yet. So here's what would have played. Uh, check the screen here for when you followed. There. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything because I only have the Discord open since every ah. time I was opening the Twitch, it was glitching and doing Oh, shoot. No worries. Locally. No I worries. See. We got you your very own Corgi then for following Angeline. You can name it whatever you want, and it'll show up on the. It's like a your own chor- corgi for the channel. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Mm, I suppose we do. Ooh, we have a fun trend called um, Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If you're good at it, you get a lot of likes on social media and also not executed. <laughs> I have heard that continuing to physically be able to post things online does help your likes. Mm-hmm. True. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you, Persephone? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, you do. <laughs> don't you? Mm. I surely do. I <laughs> surely do. Silverware yep, wear. called dying. Uh, I, I mean, go the ghostess with the mostest, right? Hey. Uh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dying is my fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. The first time I did it, I was like, mm, okay, now I don't get to be alive anymore. 
but then when all the cool ghost stuff kicked in, I was like, OMG, dying is awesome. Everyone should die. Let's see, I'm sure there's dying trends. But I do know that Daddy's reign helped many peasants achieve this meme. It's nice to know they are becoming super popular on social media in the process. Oof. Oof. Remind me not to ever hang out in Miranda's kingdom on break. It sounds like America. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ugh. But hey, for Stephanie, maybe you and I could hang out and do some dying together. Oh no. Is this how I... Oh. I can see myself making a bad... Ugh. Yay. Maybe. Yeah. Yay. I mean, I'm looking at the Stephanie relationship... I've formed with, with Liam and just leaving him for Polly immediately. I mean, it's high school. I know. Also, Liam's a pretentious dick, so... I know, it's all about that windscreen. Alright. We've got so many new choices. Something to die for. Yeah. Yeah, Bennett. I don't know if Polly's into other ghosts, though. I'll go bottom left. See, see how Scott's doing and meet this new okay. face. Okay, okay. So you're moving into Angeline's turf on just hairy dudes. Yeah. <laughs> that's Hawthorne, basically baby. that's basically Cats 2019, isn't it? I, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm very. Damien is not furry. There's nothing furry about Damien. No. Who's the hooded one, Bennett? Maybe we'll find out. Find uh, Scott and Damien <laughs> shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers them on. Oh, this is Coach. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> go, boys, go! Munch your way to victory! Ah, there is no truer spirit, truer sport, spirit, sport, than an eating contest! Bork! Like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. You know me. Uh, holy ketchup, Scott's better. <laughs> this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate the idea of like scaring a werewolf with fireworks. Oh no. <laughs> I hate that. Bro. <laughs> Angeline, I am ready for this. You pull out your bottle of Brother Caliente's father's son and the Holy Ghost pepper ketchup and dump it on Damien's dog. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, finally a sauce hot enough for... Oh, fuck, my soul is melting. He has a soul? Shit, I feel kind of bad now. Power through, Damien! Eat your feeling is just the fires of determination! <laughs> no, fires can handle... Ketchup is fucking consecrated. I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> oh, these are in the mind. That's a sweetness is leaving the body, Damien. Keep it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice, Coach. I quit. Good job. Well, I guess that makes Scott the winner. Congratulations, Scott. Hooray. Hooray. I love winning. He I says bear with do, it. Scott, good boy. <laughs> he basically told you to bear with the allergy. Mm. Great, hooray. Now, will someone take me to the <laughs> nurse's office? <laughs> hooray. I love helping. Scott rushes off carrying Damien's smoking body, and you rush Yeah, it is. Ooh. All right. Fire hair. Put me. Um, I, it's blurry in the upper left, but just throw me up there. It's blurry. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. The we're just getting some really low resolution in parts of the stream that are coming through Discord. Um, I'm I'm also watching on Twitch, which is fine. Oh, weird. Um, Sorry so about that. I <clears throat> I have it in real time on my left screen and visible <laughs> on my right screen. Oh, no. Uh, so up left for uh, the yeah. single character? Uh-huh. 
Okay. Another new character. For Bennett, too. Yeah. Um, whose is this one? I think this is Jonathan. Uh, you're taking a, br a break from socializing to eat your lunch when somebody, someone punches you in the knee. Whoa. Weird place to punch a person. Mm. Um, I think this is Angeline's new character. Oh, no. Okay. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. Kinky. Pain freak. Now I'm gonna Worst punch kind you. Of pain. <laughs> you just threw your apple at her. Finally, a use for that red delicious. You <laughs> defeated the Slayer. She flees, leaving two choice pieces of loot behind. The loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear, almost as if you're in some kind of video game. <laughs> No time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some loot before it's all gone. Eat shit, absolutely. <laughs> we gun this shoot six with eat shit. <laughs> Bennett loves her already. Good, good. She's fantastic. You scoop up the sweet ass gun and go about your day. Oof. I don't. Obviously, you're not going to use it to kill any of your classmates. You're a monster, not a monster. <coughs> Ooh. But later in biology class, the teacher calls on you without oh. warning. Oh, no. You panic because who has time to do the reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates? I didn't. Okay, yeah, that's a big mood. Question. Question? question? I yes. thought Angeline said question. question. Did you have a question? Cool. <laughs> I said good question. Oh, oh, okay. But your panic turns to self-assurance when you hear the teacher's question. What do flies do? Rather than responding with lame-ass spoken words, <laughs> you respond by firing a wooden stake straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit. Oh, eat shit, exclaims the teacher. Why, that's exactly right. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, is it bad that my mind went to fly first? Oh, oh no, I, I mine did too. Oh, oh, good. I'm not alone. You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever works, you gain four boldness. <laughs> right, I think this is the last switch. Okay. Everybody chooses a food. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, French fries. Pasta Primavera. <laughs> okay. Player or decided based on how powerful an energy drink whose key <laughs> ingredient is a selected food would be. <laughs> hey. Who? Uh, none of them. Right. I, just, I think mine is just high carb V8. <laughs> mine is just high carb no V8. Mine is just V8. <laughs> 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 Mine is just V8. Okay. Um, go to the, I'll go to the auditorium. Okay. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. It'd be better. <clears throat> There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. You don't really this need is it, the though. Of Zelda fire bubbles with sad <laughs> <laughs> mm, It's a it's a colon or se semicolon. Yeah, it, it's a very specific devil. You gain two creativity. You also lose three years of your life as you end as your end of the deal. But who cares? They weren't happening in-game anyway. 
Eh, it's high school. You're going to live forever. You're doing the thing that gives you most life. Reading Dragon Heat. When you're approached by... <laughs> I how long we've stayed on this arc. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. When you're approached by Scott and Liam. Aha. Uh -huh. A fellow connoisseur of the dracophilic arts. <laughs> His dumb face still. <laughs> I love the acting choice to pronounce it all, all of the words wrong. <laughs> not wrong. They're accented. Here. Scott and I are also experts on the topic. An unexpected duo. Yeah. Liam and I are fandom buddies. We love to discuss the things we love on our favorite stuff, Vicky's and Forum. What? We're the best fandom buds. Even if we don't always agree, like with the Starco and Markiplier thing. <laughs> I think that's a Markiplier reference? I have no I idea. I think so too. Huh. Okay, first, let's be clear. I engage in passionate fandom conversations only as an ironic way of celebrating low culture, God. which I truly despise. Second, for the hundredth time after spending years in Hekapu's dimension, Marco is now actually in his 30s, so it isn't right if he dates a 16-year-old girl. These details matter, Scott. Think how wrong it would be for me in my 400s to date people from this school if all of you were actually teenagers instead of being much more conveniently in your 20s. Miranda's 19. I'd be careful. Yeah. <laughs> She's also a genocidal maniac. That's why I'd be careful. Anyway, enough meta discussion. Scott and I here are in a situation. Even if our opinions differ, we agree our opinions are superior in comparison with the rest of the strangers on the Dragon Heat wiki. What if it turns out you're the mod of that wiki? <laughs> Liam here is like super smart, and I'm a good boy. So <laughs> I'm a good boy. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> but people on the wiki can be really mean sometimes. That's just Liam. Mm -hmm. Respect. <laughs> we can convince them to be good boys too. Scott is right. We need to somehow earn the role of moderators so we can show all those lesser beings who's boss when it comes to the Dragon Heat fandom. But. Yeah, fandom should always work in hierarchy. <laughs> yep. Uh, you gotta clear that gate. <laughs> but how? I'm sure you'll give us an absurd yet effective idea for a solution, as can be expected from good old Fire Hair. Okay, let's see. Let's ask them nicely if they can stop behaving like infinite trolls <laughs> and instead start respecting your opinion. Let's write a powerful fanfic set on the Dragon Heat Wiki where you're depicted as a <laughs> like Holy number shit. Two. Number two. Number two. There's so much fanfic <laughs> in this playthrough. This Here's is like the fourth time fanfic has come up. Love it. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yes. So Let's creative. fight wielding art as our weapon. Yeah, weapons are fun. Liam opens a new document on his laptop. Was this me? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So, let's see. Hmm. We should create a very nuanced piece of fiction. But not as nuanced as the too light uh, play <laughs> that I wrote. Because I was here first. True, true. What about if the three of us and the 34,927 users of the Dragon Heat Wiki community were co-workers at a bookshop. <laughs> co-workers at a bookshop? Delightfully disruptive, Scott. Keep going. Okay, okay. So, we're all mean to each other like in real life, except the town's mayor is visiting the bookshop next month. And it turns out that we're breaking the law because in this universe, People can't work in bookshop if they're single, and we're all single. Not good. <laughs> I can hear the steam coming from his brain. I think that's the longest text box he's had. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh my god, that's four solid lines. Good. Gosh, good boy. 
<laughs> Good boy. Oh, the weight of the conflict. I can even feel it in my fingertips. Amazing! Don't stop. Okay, Dad, we all fake that we're married together? There's 34,930 of us. Yeah. Smartly unexpected. An astute facad. The tension <laughs> is overwhelming. Faking a marriage, we all learn more about each other. The mayor of Kong, and he's happy, and everyone is happy. Until a really bad wizard comes to town. Trapping everyone in the bookshop. Uh-oh. Scott, did you, you just on a... Season two. Did you just on a monopia yourself, Scott? <laughs> Brr. <laughs> Monster kind versus nature, the oldest of rivalries. Okay, so, Liam, who's like super smart, says, Hi, I'm Liam the Vampire. We should all <laughs> snuggle together to get warm. <laughs> desperate situations call for desperate measures, yes, yes. <laughs> and the blizzard goes away, and everyone is happy, and has learned to respect each other, thanks to snuggling together, and they all say, Hooray to Liam for being smart. Hooray to Scott for being such a good boy. <laughs> I'm here for proposing the creation of this nice man. A very meta final touch, Scott. Okay, a masterpiece has been born. Let's post it on the wiki so it is deservedly immortalized. Some hours later... The users of the Dragon Heat Wiki start to comment about how moving your fanfic is, how they've met their inner feelings thanks to it, and how they're now capable of acknowledging your leadership skills. And so, <laughs> they make the three of you moderators. Art truly opens people's minds, Scott, I must admit. We've done a true fanfic a choice. Oh, God. <laughs> It's especially painful because a lot of these words are from French, which I know you speak. <laughs> Je ne peux pas nager. I cannot swim. Ooh, fanfic a choice. Oh la la. <laughs> you truly impress these two, you sexy, creative motherfucker. You gain two charm and one creativity. <laughs> I think that was a worthy like last bit for uh fire hair story yeah. that was solid yeah. um let's go look at all my creativity you're over there though let's go for fun let's try it i have no idea who i'm closest to i feel like i'm not gonna have anyone to ask at all <laughs> well i, I feel like i likes me either yeah I feel like I have a, a a main a main bitch and a side bitch. You kind of do. I do. I've just been friends with everyone. <laughs> like I haven't done anything romantic with a single person. In You're not high schooling family. right, Ben. Yeah, me either. You're not high schooling right. Yeah, true. Yeah. I've got to bother girls that don't want to date me. Which <laughs> I did. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> I had my time being an entitled fuck. <laughs> um, let's do Jonathan for this. What? Uh, narrator? Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan the small magical Latino cat. Again, you guys are friends at this point. You start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. Monster Camp. Released October 2020. Go buy it on Steam now. <laughs> you know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. <laughs> Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. Ooh. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns <laughs> it into too fun. 
It's just TikTok. Mm-hmm. Afterwards, <gasps> Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. <laughs> He's following me, though. Yeah. After considerable thought, I've come to the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. I think he's in love with you. And seeing as how I could use a partner for my tragically hip late-night excursions, consider yourself invited. Tonight, 3 a.m., I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming up with an appropriately underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go or anything. I just want to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. You just take a manhole out of the street. You're like, how's this? <laughs> Liam vanishes in a cloud of mist and angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. Oh, boy. Monstropolis is most exclusive new nightclub. Asterisk. Kevin? Or Kevin? Or the hottest, most underground nightclub of all, the Earth's Core. Is it just night by default there because sunlight doesn't hit it? I, yeah, same way like a dark ride is, is a dark ride. <laughs> um, most exclusive new nightclub. Uh, okay, so here's what I've done before is I get to like the last one and then I mess up and then they lose all their hearts on me. Oh. <laughs> So I don't know. I, don't I feel know like the first one is more Liam. Yeah? Okay, let's try it. You meet Liam in front of at precisely 3.18 a.m. <laughs> Being on time is for posers. It's a club so exclusive, even you haven't heard of it before. <laughs> you... <laughs> You had to snag an invite for a traveling <laughs> version of yourself from the future. Okay. Monstropolis's hippest club is a satanic diaper orgy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Run by mice who love disco. Okay. Okay, hold up one moment. <laughs> Just for future reference... Neither of you have to audition for me again if I just get... <laughs> if you just both, like, submit a self-tape of this line. Sorry. Can I survive now? Yes. I don't know if I can get through it. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Okay. Monstropolis's hippest club is a satanic... <laughs> 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 it's a satanic diaper orgy inside a decommissioned ravioli factory run by my two love disco. Love! Bobby! Bobby! Bobby booby diaper orgy! Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, thank you. Thank you As for I that. Was saying diaper, I was like, no, there's no way that's the word. I'm mispronouncing something, and now I'm saying diaper. <laughs> for no reason oh no it actually says diaper what but at this i we need to change this law so this is legal but no one could read it without <laughs> without breaking <laughs> oh that's so good liam takes one look at the magnificent entryway made of a stolen whale carcass and the concept of entropy <laughs> and his jaw drops <laughs> It's made of the concept of <laughs> Go horse. I thought it was a myth. I've heard rumors that they've got everything here. Used cribs, police brutality, the entire frozen food aisle from a discount supermarket. My god, they've even got a downstairs sub-dungeon where you can relax in the human jacuzzi. There are humans in this world? Uh... Parts of them make a jacuzzi in this world. Oh. I mean, this is pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> in case you were wondering, a human jacuzzi <laughs> is only a set in a circle. <laughs> in case you were wondering, 
wandering a human jacuzzi is when you sit in a circle while a bunch of naked people spit. <laughs> Hot water at you. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Uh, <laughs> I think I grew up a little. <laughs> Jonathan, this is made for people like you. You asked that exact question. <laughs> oh boy. What question? What's a human jacuzzi? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> that green boy's reaction to finding out what a human jacuzzi is. <laughs> oh no. I mean, good trollophus. <sighs> okay. For my swan song. Uh, oh. Jim. Okay. No, I'll go to class. True oh. rebel. Okay. <clears throat> Ange? Going that to day. class at the Meta Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> that day, the teacher is just tired of teaching, so she recurs to the class technique of not giving a shit and putting on some kind of historical TV show for you to watch. Wishbone! Yes. What you don't expect is that it's super effective. Oh no. God bless the golden era of television. The TV show is compelling thanks to the ridiculous amount of nudity and bloodshed. But at the same time, you actually learn a lot about history. Ah, an HBO period piece. <laughs> ah. You gain two smarts. At the end of class, the teacher passes back your quizzes from last week. Can I date the teacher? His and sighs. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Yay. Just another fascist assessment in a long line of fascistic assessments. Don't get me wrong. Liam, my that word is really weighted right now. <laughs> yeah. Can you date that Slayer girl? Uh, in the sequel, you can. I thought Annette. anything with a face you could date in this game. I did not say that's not the case. Ah. Don't get me wrong. My performance on these little... I've never seen this word. Charades. Charades is exceptional. I am devastatingly intelligent, but I find the entire enterprise distasteful. Must we be weighed and measured like so much raw steak? Wait, you were weighed and measured? I mm -hmm. think you took the wrong test. <laughs> All right, a thought master snorts derisively. All right, butt sucker. You're so smart. How are you supposed to assess us without tests? Well, I mean, given time, I'm sure I could come up with Obviously. This is not going well for Liam. You jump in and save the day. Do I? <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. This isn't like <laughs> defending one position or the other. This mm -hmm. is just, let's settle this like animals. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm going to go rap battle. I think my stats are better equipped for that. Okay. Yes, that's precisely what I was about to say. Of course. As we all know, one does not truly grasp a subject until one can fluently rap about it. I'm so glad you agree, Liam. I'm going to request you to freestyle on every topic before you discuss it in the future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> None would dispute that Snoop Dogg is a reigning expert <laughs> on the distribution and consumption of marijuana, for example. I really hope that there's somebody in the world who thinks that it's pronounced Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, very good. I'll start a petition immediately. This will definitely impress Reddit. <laughs> you give Liam his first signature. You're not sure he'll get many more. But in any case, <laughs> you gain two fun and one creativity. Nice. Hey -o. The monster prom draws near. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, so Fire hair. Work as somebody who's never played sure. it before. Um Do I have to ask somebody who has hearts towards me? Ideal well, these are the options you have. 
Um, I don't know exactly like what the mechanics are of winning, and it doesn't really give you a hint at how yeah, I, I don't well know you've if done. It's a die roll, or if it's just already determined, but you don't know. I, I'm okay. not sure. So you have s- seven options, uh-huh. with the last one being none of them. But then I don't I lose if I don't take anyone to prom. Uh, I don't know if you really win or lose monster prom. Yeah. You just finish it. <laughs> okay. I mean, is going yeah. to prom with one of these people a win? No. Uh, no, I'll shoot my shot with Scott. Do it. Yeah. I'm not throwing away my Scott. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You want to you want to okay. shoot for Scott? Yep. Okay. I'm just I have the power of clicking, so I don't want to mess it up. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is his normal outfit, by the way. That we've Love never, it. never, ever seen. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <sighs> if we ask the same person. Aw, oh, he'll be so pleased. He'll have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh, I really don't think I have enough with Polly. I have like one or two hearts with her, but I you. Think I'm gonna go for Miranda. I've only spoken to her once, but my <laughs> stats are up her alley. I think. Yeah. Um, because fire hair gave me the good word. I'm going with Liam. Because <laughs> I'd rather be with someone who likes me than someone I've chosen. <laughs> I, I do think Liam's gonna say yes to you. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's about it's about winning the end game, right? R- right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to shoot my shot with Miranda. She's going to say no, but they all are, so. <laughs> Miranda? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let's do this. Um, oh, the heartbeat. I hate it. Don't send me back. You hear it. Uh, let's have uh, Ange read your own narration. Okay. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Hmm. Uh, prom? I don't know. I mean, you're so out of shape. Oh. <laughs> what? Scott. I hadn't asked you. What? <laughs> oh. Oof. My grandma always says I need to mate with an alpha specimen so we can breed strong babies. Oh, you watch those soy boy YouTube videos, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even want to know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you really do, you don't. I promise. No. <laughs> you're a beta male. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, you're bad at interacting with people. <laughs> oh, you got the piece, though. You know what? Yeah. Also, Scott, you showed me you. I needed that. Yeah. yeah. Now you know. Now you know. Now, I know that you're really a douche, so yep. I won't be yeah. fooled again. He's not a good That's boy. The thing about being dumb but good-hearted is you probably don't have any empathy either. Oh wait. <clears throat> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. That's not a peace sign. He's waving his finger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wait. I was like, how many fingers is that? Yeah. <laughs> well. All right, Clint, bring it home with the okay. what's his face. Okay, hey, you'll always have the right. salad. You'll always have the salad. I, I need right. one of us to go to prom with someone. I need that. <laughs> we need a win. I'll try. Uh, this is still you. This is oh, the end sorry. of your story. To repent for the sin of making such bad choices, you were forced to walk around the school in the nude, accompanied by a nun who chanted <laughs> over and over while ringing a bell. What you kind of it? school is this? Classic. I look good naked, so that's not really a punishment. Yeah, actually, it just shows Scott what he was missing. Exactly. Yeah, see, there you go. And you go home and read more Dragon Heat. Yeah. Yeah. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved, I wouldn't go that far, to go to the monster prom with you. (laughs) Uh, Do you want to do it, Andy? Or I've never called you Andy in my entire life. (laughs) That was super weird. All good. <laughs> Ew, um, my 
sister told me that I could get diseases if I dated commoners. That's true. You yeah. could also get them from dating anybody. That's like crabs or poverty. Also very true. I must decline. That's fair. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this failure haunted you the rest of your life. And you never moved on, becoming a total and constant failure. You never succeeded at anything again. Oh, wow. Thanks for coming and playing video games with me, guys. You're so welcome. <laughs> you know, I thought I had nothing to lose, but apparently, uh, Gatropolis has really serious <laughs> abandonment issues. Oof. Oh, attachment wound. Oh, no. <laughs> Except for that time you won at Monsters Got Talent. But your talent was being a failure at love. It astonished everyone how bad you were at rope. <laughs> Not any less sad, though. Though? Uh, no. Though? <laughs> okay, Clint, you got this. I'm you trying. Got this, Clint. Carry I got, victory, baby. I've got my glasses and my creativity. Here we go. You'll finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? It's not that I love the concept of prom. He's gonna say yes. Yep, yep. But we need to be there, if yeah. only to yeah. remind everyone we're cooler than them. Yeah. It's almost a duty. So Agreed. We should do it, huh? Oh, she looks so happy. She did. Oh, she's in stitches. <laughs> Clint. Yeah. There. Yeah? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Prom yeah. night was dreamy! You and Liam criticized the vulgar musical choices of the band the entire night. And at one point, you crashed the gig by joining them with a xylophone and a theremin. <laughs> the most important instruments. <laughs> A renowned music blogger happened to be there because, for some reason, she thinks the next big thing will be found at a high school prom or whatever. And she was right. She said, I understood virtually nothing, which probably means it was avant-garde and too much of an intellectual delicacy even for me. I give it zero thumbs up, but only because ranking art numerically is a travesty. Keep an eye... <laughs> On Liam DeLancourt and Persephone, crashing future prom nights. They will wow you. Doesn't this sound like a Stephen Stanley review? It's a... <laughs> wow. <laughs> you both kept a copy of the review as a memory of such a wonderful night together. You brought it to all class reunions, including the ones that Fire Hair and Gatropolis <laughs> were at. So, we all agree. Falsy, what are you going to say? So, technically, a waffle one because character is happy. Well, you guys are happy. Hey, no, I think yeah. Angeline was strutting her stuff. Yeah, I was. Happy. Dahlia. You don't need no man. You don't need no man. Dahlia over everything. I don't, I don't remember. I mean, she, she did have her justice. Dahlia is one of the witches. Yeah, uh, but we don't get to know that in this game. Okay, so this run, we didn't get any secret endings, but we got 25 new things. There are, we got one of 34 endings, four to 22 events, 1,500 outcomes. Oh my god. And you're most likely to start a cult, but Liam's best at being purple. I'm into it. Yay! Liam is indeed the best at being purple. Oh. All right, right. That's weird that they give a superlative to an NPC. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he did he did more than me, honestly. He just followed me everywhere. <laughs> uh, ready to meet all the other he characters in the credits? Finding you. He was. True. We can see who everyone was dressed as. And it's adorable. There they are. Aww. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Look at all the people we didn't meet, though. Oh. After the monster prom. Yeah, Purple Gal's cute. Uh, after the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And that middle guy is Blobbert. Good old Blobbert. 
And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam and Scott... Oh, wait, Ange, can you take it from here? Yeah. Liam and Scott co-wrote a weird, cheesy fanfic of two lights that became unexpectedly popular to the point... I need co-author. A well-known <laughs> novel of its own... Yeah, okay, what the fuck? Scott? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Half the characters are shirtless, for all the right reasons. That was my idea. <laughs> this is Jonathan. After some years, the prince's dimension became a democracy, mostly due to the public discontent with royalty that spends most of its time in other dimensions. And a multitude of bees! <laughs> <laughs> that was my bad, sorry. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high schoolers. Still wrong on so many levels. Is he not a student? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> Miranda used her vast knowledge of serfs to get a job hand-picking the best serfs for other people. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do... <laughs> <laughs> serfs finding serfs. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then, it was gone. Just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended them. Then... But there were plenty, plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Confession. I hate the intro and outro speeches for this game. I think the rest of the writing is fantastic, and the first and final moments are garbage. Oh. Oh. And now... I have to get up in the morning. Too. Oh my gosh. Thank you for oh, hanging you? out so much. Of course. Oh, what'd you think of it? It was, it was super fun. This was a blast. This I've only finished, I think, one game of this before, maybe two. It wasn't and anything it, like this one? Oh no, of course not. I probably didn't see a single event that I'd ever seen before. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. There's so much content in this game. It's actually obscene. <laughs> oh. Their band is called Player Character, with all four player characters. I oh. love that. Cool. Um, well, if you two need to go, I'll text you after this, and I'll... The Slayer on the... Oh my gosh, I like that. I liked that picture a lot. That yeah, cool. she's like sneaking up on him. Yeah. Oh. On a moving roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll hang out and say goodbye to the chat, but I'll, I'll text yeah. you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you had a good time, and if you want to do this again... Thank you, thank you. This was this was how I wanted to end my night. So, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. And thank you to the chat for sticking around with us. And yes, yes, chat. Thank you. Misadventures. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure right, to go follow them and all of their things. Oh, we <gasps> the salad. The salad returns. Oh my god, <laughs> the salad was the MVP. True. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Okay, fine. All right. I'm Good out. night. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Good night, Ange. Good night if I can ever figure out how to get Oh, no. <laughs> there she goes. She figured it out. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. You guys, did you have fun with that? That was my first collab stream. Uh, technically, I did one because my character's happy, but... You know, everyone was independent. You're right, Bennett. Uh, yeah, this was this was different, but I just really wanted to spend a day with friends, so so that's what we did. Um, uh, I feel like I definitely didn't <laughs> hydrate enough, but I really enjoyed playing stuff, and I, uh, he was happy to sort of introduce you guys to my team of real life friends that do uh, all the theater things with me. So I'm probably not going to stream much longer tonight. Um, I have a dentist appointment in the morning. So I shouldn't stay up too late. But let's see. This was fun. Uh, we beat Bioshock 2 last time, remember? So I am not going to be able to stream again this week. Uh, my Friday stream and Saturday and Sunday, I am going to be out of town and I won't have my setup with me 
Uh, I'm going to try to be as active in all of our other friends' chats that we can. So if you guys go watch Cake Play, I'll be over there. If Lexi streams, she has her setup ready, I will be there. Benjamin Byler is doing something, I will be watching him. Uh, so you guys will see me around. A loss to society. Oh, Ch falsy. Falsy, that, that, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you. What shall we do without you? Falsy, you can probably mod for, for cake play <laughs> without me. <laughs> oh, but I'll, I'll be around. I'll be around this weekend. I just won't be streaming. Uh, so Tuesday, um, unless my friends here want to play this again, uh, Tuesday, we will start Bioshock Infinite. Late Night Falsy is the ultimate support. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. He's sleepy and he's happy. Oh, well, thanks for being here, Falsy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Do you guys want to see the images we unlocked? And then and then we'll call it? Ooh. Sure. Okay, let's take a look. And you guys can see my whole Monster Prom history. Unless that's spoilers. Images. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, so we had ne we'd never successfully won Liam before. Neat. Oh, look at that. There we go. We can pretend that our friends won too. And Oz. Oz is a good boy. Nice. Close that. Oh, what else? Oh, snap. Oh, man. I've seen this one and this one more often than I care to admit. I just always get rejected by these ladies. This was a new rejection, though. This was new. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sad. Oh, and this was this was rough. This was rough. I really thought she might have had a shot. Yeah, this is the one I've seen before. It's not necessarily us winning, but it is uh, Liam <laughs> winning. Yeah, it is. Ooh, and that's all the endings, so that's enough spoilers. Uh, here's some goodies. This one's so funny to me. The player character band. They're so great. Rough. <laughs> but that, that was rough. You're right. What's new here? <gasps> this is new! I can picture happiness with you. Oh, because they're doing Instagram food. Oh, look at that. I think Cake Play won this one last time we played. Was it Cake Play? Maybe it was my D&D group that was playing. Because this one's pretty sweet. But this is our ending today. What else? Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, that is not safe for work. Okay, more art. We get more art. This makes me want to get the game. Uh, I would say go for it. Even I haven't played it that much. Uh, this the the developers are just so involved with the community. So if anything, you just want to support them. I don't know if this is available on Epic, but there's a coupon right there. But if you want to pay full price to uh, support the devs and go for it. Um, I know funds, funds aren't always available, but if you can find a group of friends that enjoys this style of humor, then like I did today, then I think you're golden. I think you are golden, Bennett. Look at all these. Oh, we got new stuff. What's this? Vicky events concept. Oh, full screen. Whoa. Oh, look at her mining the bitcoins. She has no idea what she's doing. Oh. I've never seen this one. Oh, it's because it's concept. Yeah, I've never seen her go to the bathroom, I guess. Sadly, you alone in terms of visual novels. Is this a visual novel? Technically? Oh. Well, that's why there's an online mode. I mean, neither of them had this, and obviously no one is here with me. Oh. <gasps> Vicky in a ponytail. 
Oh. Yeah, Vicky's my favorite. That's nice. What about this? Early concept, Vicky! Yes! Oh, she's so sweet. She's got coffee. Different color. She's a little thick in this one. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Uh, ready for some fan art. You'll never forget when before you'd ever played this game, you beat both Jake and Ben. Wow. Falsy, your luck stat is, is off the charts. Technically, this is a dating sim. Yes. Why does his chest look like a butt? Why? Why? Why does his chest look like a butt? Oh. Oh, it's not your skill stat? No, I'd say you just have very good luck. Well, you're correct, but... Go on. Go on. Also, while well, I wait for that, uh, last thing I want to do before I leave. Uh, how'd you guys like this overlay? Was that okay? That wasn't too distracting? Because uh, I can use this to do non-face cam stuff with, with the community. Um, hope this worked out for you. It wasn't too distracting. You'd like to pretend it's skill. Hey, having good luck stat is a skill. So don't worry about that, Falsy. Don't worry about that. It's quite pleasing. Oh, good. Good, I tried. I put a little bit of effort. Yeah, so, but I heard that every time, and I don't think my friends did. So I've got to find a way to share the pain. Share the pain. All right, everyone. I think it is time for bed. Uh, for me. Which is crazy. I usually don't sleep before midnight, but I have a little bit, a little bit of driving to do tomorrow. So... Before it gets too late. Oh. Thank you guys for hanging out so much. Um, is anyone streaming right now? Mm -hmm. Since we were talking about it, do you guys want to watch some Hades? Yeah? Sound good for you, Bennett? Alright, let's go over. Let's go over, and here's the raid message. I'm typing it right now. Of course, using the WAF emote. Okay, so we're gonna go over to, um, we're gonna go over to Rico Fajardo, who is a voice actor in um. He helped me out with a voice acting workshop not too long ago, and he is in My Hero Academia, and he's in Dr. Stone, and he was playing Code Vein at the same time I was playing Code Vein, and he's playing Hades right now. So let's go over and let's wish him some luck with Ye Escape! Ye Escape! Um, Bennett, it's really fun to watch. I really just started playing it like a couple of days ago, but I've been watching it for forever. So I hope that will be fun. So let's go on over and raid him. We have a small but mighty group today, but this should be good. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Have a good weekend, because I won't see you until next week. Well, we will continue Bioshocktober. Thank you all for hanging out. I will see you all. Oh, man, I got used to that narrator voice. <laughs> but that was fun. That was fun. All right. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Big patch next week. That's right.